Hello, everyone. Welcome back to session two of this fucking shit show. Holy crap, that took a long time to start, but now we're ready to go. Right. Who wants to tell me what happened last time? I think we need... I would very much appreciate it if the recap could be done by the Eidolon's point of view. Ooh. I think I can manage that. Alrighty, so... I wasn't there for the most part, but from what I heard, a uh, value menu item got murdered in the forest. Lots of things were stolen in the process because I wasn't there to help. Um, you met a very crazy man, blasted off into space, and landed on a planet where you have absolutely no idea what's going on. All you know is that there's a campsite about two miles away from you. And we're all going to investigate it. Sound about fair? Yeah. Yes, it does. Cool. Yeah. Well, then let's go. So, we begin walking through the fucking forest in the dead of night, about two in the morning, most likely. Um, you guys are headed in a specific direction that only Starcow knows, if I remember correctly. You're the only one who knows really where it is. In the meantime, though, go ahead and make me a survival check, whoever's leading this fucking group of people. Mm. Okay. Got it. Here, I'll do it. Just let me check what my survival is. Oh, boy. Oh. In my bag? Should be. All right. Who's leading the Sorry. group? Is it you? Ah, uh, yeah. Probably, because I, I, I'm the only one who knows what the shit is. Cool. Go ahead and roll me a survival check, please. Yours doesn't count. Hey, Brian. Damn it. Do you know where the fuck you're going? No. <laughs> no, but nobody said anything. <laughs> I said whoever's Maybe leading. I didn't know you were gone. Place. Star Cow, go ahead and roll me thing. Uh, rolling thing. Hey, that'll work. I think I did good. <laughs> Even with the lack of stars, you're still able to... Um, Navigate your way through in the correct direction, and also you can also use your familiar to help you as well. Um, eventually, after um, several several minutes of walking, you do come across. Uh, you do see in the, in the distance through the trees there is a light. A faint orangish glow. I tell everyone to halt up and move slowly. Okay. And I move closer to see what it is. If you're moving slowly, roll me a stealth check. Either. Actually, can I cast a spell first? Uh, sure. And I'm glad I prepared this. It's probably a waste of a second level spell slot, but here we go. Preparing a spell? What the hell? Uh, yeah. Oh, it's the best spell. Oh, oh, oh yeah. So we got. Uh, if anyone's stealthing with me, we can add a plus ten bonus to stale. Okay. Uh, I probably shouldn't go. And then, I have a plus one in stealth. So at least a roll of eleven. Fourteen. Cool. At least a roll of 11. <laughs> I mean, mine as well. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that'll do it. If anyone else is approaching stealthily, please roll your stealth checks now. Well, okay, I okay. armor just disappears. Roll. Wait, do I have pass that trace too? Yeah, yeah everybody does. does. Just add 9 to whatever you roll. Or add 10, rather. Yay, 19. Oh, boy. I have disadvantage, so I go. Being sneak. Tell. Tell. Oh, that's 15. Doesn't Breastplate give you disadvantage, too? Nope. That's why I chose Breastplate. There you go. Cool. So 15, yeah, 16, so stuffy, 9. You need to roll one for Moyle. I'm rolling. Yeah. Moyle. 29, 
man. Darn's old man feet. Be safe to say, since I had the bad roll, I should probably take up the bat. I had a worse roll than you. Calm down. So sixteen and twenty-four. Okay. Sounds good. Boyle is a quiet motherfucker. Two, three, four, five, six. <coughs> Are we missing anyone? Oh, I know. I know why. Okay, cool. Cool, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and plug you guys onto a map real quick. Give me a second. And, well, I think that's all of you, right? No one else is missing? Yeah, okay, cool. So, here. Here, there, cool. Alrighty, so, uh, as you guys approach closer and get to the edge of the tree line, you guys can see uh, up on a small ridge, there's that campfire that was mentioned before. And around it are... Well, you're fucking dumb, then. <laughs> How can you not see? Are you, is everything black for you? Yep, yeah, everything's yeah, black for me, too. Okay, hold on a second, but I don't know if that's because I'm not Call me there. dumb, bitch. Call me dumb, bitch. Did that work? Can it's we last, not just get along? Also, I should no, probably turn on daylight. Uh, I'm assuming I'm just not supposed to see. No, 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 don't worry about it. There you go. Does that work? Yeah. Okay, well, everything's brightly lit. I was hoping to actually... If it was darker, I could actually make use no, of it. No, that's fine. The, the ambient glow of the core of the planet gives it the semblance of moonlight. So, everything is basically in dim light all the time. As if there were a full moon outside. <clears throat> Um, anyway, so, uh, you do see two, two individuals sitting around a campfire, conversing with each other, um, too far away to make out what they're hearing, but you can see that they're, they're basically, like, warming their hands by the fire and, uh, and just kind of looking out into the dimly lit forest around you. What do they look like? Um, they look like one of them is a human, the other one's a half-elf, um... They're in, like, very simple um, white robes um, that are kind of, like, dirty, dusty. Um, you can see that they're not the most, like, well-kept robes. Um, and they are just kind of sitting around the campfire talking to each other. Um, yeah. Could we understand what they're saying? It's too far away to make out any kind of thing. You can see their lips moving, but other than that, you can't hear anything. I got, I got pretty high on stealth, so I'm gonna try to move ahead and try to see if I can listen to what they're saying. How far are you moving? Show me with the arrow so I can see distance. Okay. So the two individuals right like around here? Yeah, right, right there because there's just still somewhat of a bush so I could use that as a cover. Yep. Is this on like a cliff or ridge or hill? Yes, it's a small small cliff with a a rough set of stairs that have been kind of like set up into the side of it. And since you have a twenty nine, I'm not even going to make you roll. Um, yeah, you can get a little bit closer. Um, you can hear them talking, but they're not talking in a in a language that you can immediately understand. Okay, um, I may regret this uh, burning a spell slot to cast this. What you casting? Knife. Do you have a way to cast that quietly? No. Okay. Fuck. I, I don't have subtle spell yet. Well, we're going to find out today. Uh... Wait, you're a sorcerer and you didn't take subtle spell? I don't have access to it yet. Oh, you're still first level sorcerer? So you cast a spell. Um, and you can hear them switch from this other language to another one that's like, man, it really is kind of cold out tonight. I wonder what that fucking thing was in the forest. Yeah, I have no clue. It's 
very odd. I mean, I you know, things fall from the sky all the time, but not nothing that big. Not that I've seen before. I wonder how long that's been floating up there in the clouds. The other one says to him, I have no idea, but look, we're going to keep right here, and we're going to do what the uh, the elder says, and uh, just warn him if anything weird happens. And then we'll go to sleep, and he'll be fine. All right? Basically, they're, they seem kind of concerned about, number one, that you crash-landed nearby. But they also don't seem to be entirely phased by things falling from the atmosphere. That seems to happen uh, regularly. All right, so since I used a spell, that means I... Am I still within the tra Pass Without Trace effect? Yeah, it, well, it's, it's, uh, it's a charm that's put on anybody within 30 feet of the original guy. And then after that, for an hour, no matter where you are, it's not like an aura radius. You can just move and be stealthed. Okay, cool. Because I used a spell, so do I need to roll another stealth check to move back to the group sneakily? I would say yes. Perfect. Okay, without issue. Okay, so uh, they're speaking in a language that nobody could un I, uh that I don't understand at least. And uh, apparently things falling down is a common occurrence here and there's something else apparently in the forest. Who have assumed that thing was us? It could, uh -huh. it, it could mean us, it could mean something else, I don't know. I highly doubt no. that um, it would be anything else besides a no. giant airship falling from this guy. Yes. Oh, and uh, from how they're speaking, they do have some sort of a tribal hierarchy. They set elders and whatnot. Are we the ones responsible for making first contact with people from the planet, or should we just, you know, back out and return? Well, I think. Uh, what's the worst that could go wrong? I mean, technically, the, yeah. our standing order was to find out what's going on over here we found out there's two people camping out looking out for whatever hell uh, fell from the sky and keeping an eye a watch out we could all intense purposes just return back yes i see no problem with that technically we have set up <laughs> uh, VG, what was the exact words of the uh, captain? Um, I mean, if I remember correctly, the intent was for you to go and actually play the game today. That's uh, I would like to. <laughs> I mean, just from the DM's perspective. If you want to go back, he's going to tell you to come back here anyway, just so you know. Um, the idea was that you were going to suss out everything that's going on and figure out whether they're a credible threat or not. So far, okay. you are you have seen two people. You know about at least one more, and there's an entrance to a cave you haven't gone in yet. So, all right, uh, everybody, uh, smiling faces. Uh, do we even know if they can understand our language? We're about to find out. Oh, hey, oh. Who's oh. the face of the company again? Uh, most likely me. Pretty boy, because obviously. I can. I can see if they speak Elvish or Dwarfish. One of them is a half elf. All right. Uh, how about how about this? I mean, sorry, wrong voice. How about these? How about just two of us go up there? So at least if they, uh, if from uh, another person's perspective, they have a chance and they won't feel as threatened as a whole group. And we shall um, go up there together and show, you know, just, you know, try to gauge a little. Just talk. And if they're, and if they're hostile, we have the element of surprise. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, maybe who, who else was going to go? Who was the first one to go? Uh, out of character, sending up squishies to, you know, into a potentially hostile situation. It's a horrible idea. Yeah, uh, I could go with you if you want to. I should. I do want to go. I also want to go. 
just in case shit hits the fan. So, who, so it's gonna be me and you? Or I could act as a translator, maybe, if he speaks Elvish. I speak Abyssal, Celestial, and Common. I speak Minotaur and Common. I and speak Common. Dwarven. So you, oh, you speak and Moo in Common. Okay. It's <laughs> Moo in the language. An elephant. Get it? Because he's from the moon. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, so I can confirm that uh, crushed watermelon soda tastes and smells like bubble gum. Or not bubble gum, but watermelon gum. Anyway, continue. Okay, I guess Star Cow and... Which one are you against? Pretty Boy. Oh, no, Skyler? No, Skyler is the drow. Okay. So I guess us two are going to go first. Okay. And just make contact. Move your characters up there. Okay, you're gonna have to give me a minute on that. That's a bit of a difficult <laughs> ask. <laughs> so what do you what do you say when you approach them? Hiya. Uh no. Uh hello. Uh, Just I say hello, hello and all this. They immediately stand up and look towards you. Hey, who goes there? Uh we uh I in common. Hands up. In common, by the way. Okay, in common. I put my hands up. We mean no harm. I was just, uh, uh, we are just passing through. We saw the fire. We wanted to, uh, make our presence known. Seems kind of late at night for you to be traveling alone, just the two of you. And you're dressed very strangely. What's your business here? I'm not fooled by this. Literally, just passing through. Just. Uh, my name is Tevanta Simbler, and this is my friend. Please introduce yourself. My name is Skyra. Right. We mean, we mean you no know harm. All right. If you mean us no harm, then you would have no problem disarming yourselves. Uh, what the fuck do I have on? I have a sickle. Mm -hmm. I throw my sickle to the ground. Because if it's if most other also holds, I'm gonna kind of use our link to kind to kind of kind of creep around so that but way. At research. this point, I'd have you reroll, but it's not been an hour, so you can still add ten. I put down the spear, maul, and halberd. Okay, <laughs> it's just a walking arsenal. All right, <laughs> it was a gesture of good faith. We'll do the same. They take out um, daggers from their belts and just lay them on the ground. All right. Uh, might we uh, warm ourselves by the fire real quick and... Uh, let's do this. Uh, our uh, superior, as it were, asked us to keep a watch out here in the forest, so I'm going to go get him real quick. You two stay right where you are. If anything funny happens, my friend here is going to run inside and the rest of us are going to come out. That sounds completely reasonable. Uh, Fair enough. How much of a how much of an incline is this little ledge here? Uh, it's like ten foot, ten foot climb. So this guy's gonna like slowly, jauntily, just kind of walk into the cave. We'll just leave his token there for now. Which means I can probably stick some oil there and have him just press up against the edge without being fucking seen. Yeah. So the other one, the um, the human one. Is left standing there. So you're really just travelers, huh? From a faraway land, yes. Well, which land? Yeah. Uh, Tavata, uh, like so. looks up towards the moon. Uh, oh wait, you can't see the moon through the fog, huh? Nope, you can't see the night sky at all. Uh, what would you believe me if I told you we were from beyond the fog? Okay, so you're from Netria then? What? Is that a name I recognize? No. Not exactly. What is Netria? So, Arval? Uh, what's the name of our moon again? I forget. Genus. 
Uh, we are from Genus. Uh -huh. Right, okay. So you're from the moon? Really? You're aliens? Sounds great. Um, I'm going to just go out on a limb and say I don't believe you. Do you uh, did you happen a few... How long has it been since we crashed? Like a few hours? Yeah, it's it's been like uh, two, three hours. Well, for you guys actually now since you've walked through the forest, it's been about three hours. Uh, three hours ago, did you see that thing fall from the sky? I'm sure me and everyone else around here did. That was us. Yeah, again, I, I really don't believe you. The shit that lands from the, the storms up there really doesn't have living people on it. Uh, I hate to tell you this, but we are not lying. You can do whatever you want to check, but we came back. I'm going to have him roll an insight check on that. I am not lying. <laughs> and he can tell he got a natural 20. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So he looks at you and he's like, he's like, yeah, I don't believe you. And then like, he sees the sincerity in your face and he goes, right. Uh -huh. I would say you should get your leader and we, we can, we can talk. Well, you've certainly piqued my interest. I'm sure the elder will want to speak with you for sure. What about you, Drow? Where'd you come from? Same place as him. Well, not the same area, yeah, just the same planet, same moon. The same moon, Jesus. But, all right. Well, by Our Lady, at least I believe. I mean, I feel like you're telling the truth, but we'll have the Elder decide that. And then at that point, the other guy comes back. All right. Hold on a second. Let me grab the other guy. Humanoids. I have. I put like almost every stat block I possibly could on here. So give me a second. There we go. Diplomacy. We don't have to kill people. So there's a there's an older older gentleman uh, with a wearing like kind of like uh, faded red robes with like yellow filigree on it, uh, with a hood up, big beard, gray hair, older man with a walking stick. He says, "Hello there, strange travelers. I am told that you are uh, friendly at the very least, so I'm grateful that you've." not decided to attack us in the night. There are many bandits on these roads, many awful creatures in the forest, so I hope you understand our trepidation. Of course. Now, I understand. That makes sense. Now, if you wish to join us by the fire, I'm sure that we could be more than accommodating. I would like to know where you're from, though. At this point, the other <laughs> one, the human, says, yeah, they said they're from the moon. Um... And uh, to be honest, I don't think they're lying. No, he's he's a minotaur. He's not a lion. Relax. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Show he eat shit and die. <laughs> oh, he, uh, okay. the elder right basically there. gestures Carrot. to the fire. Gestures to the fire in front of you and says, Please join us. Uh, my name is uh, Elder Jeremy. I am Devanta Simble. Excellent. Very nice to meet you. Skyler. Tevanta and Skyler. Very nice to meet you. My name is Elder Jeremond, and this is uh, my lookout party here. Uh, Jorick and Manfred. Uh, it's good to meet you. Jorick is the half-elf. Manfred is the human. So, you're from the moon. Yes, um, it's going to be a weird story. Um, well, let's start with the basics. Today, earlier, about two to three hours earlier, the big thing that fell from the sky was us. It was you. Well, not just me. Um, uh, think of it, uh, a colony. A colony? <laughs> a colony? So you're with others, then? It's not just yourself? Yes. Not just us. Interesting. And we um, we came here to uh, sort of uh, move in a little bit, see if we can uh, live here. And uh, well, I noticed the fire from a, a while away, and one of 
our leaders told me to come and investigate. Well, I'm afraid you won't find much in the way of civilization out here. We're really a group of outcasts in this location. We discovered this place on a pilgrimage of our own and decided to set up shop. It's actually quite interesting. There's more to this location than meets the eye. If you'd wish to follow me inside, I'd be happy to show you. Uh, before we do, I apologize, but I did hide uh, a small treasure of information. And I call out to the rest of them. I say, drop your weapons. They are friendly. No, I figured they were. <laughs> the old man turns and says, um, I think, I don't know if that includes the one at the base of the ridge, but... Yes, what? that would be wet, swear, I'm, I'm, I'm old and I'm not giving up my walking stick. You know, the old that man, is... it may be dark outside, but the old man does like to roll natural 20s as well. <laughs> for some fucking reason. <laughs> so, you know you know what? You know what? I'm okay with this. It's literally, I yeah. rolled, the last two rolls I rolled was, I rolled a 20, a natural 20, and a natural 20 <laughs> again. <laughs> so for two what different people. The... Yeah, this whole well, lion starts that. dumping a bunch of weapons off of himself. Long bow, a long sword, a shield, and a bunch of arrows. As um, as you put it, uh, we were cautious as well. So, sort of on the same side. I, I pull out my two daggers and put it on the ground, but I tell them, I, I'm not giving up my walking stick. It's, the terrains are freaking hard here. Well, I understand that sentiment good. myself. I have this walking stick just for that purpose. Either way, um, you're going to have to come up with a better cover story than the mood, my friends. Nothing lives up there. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Where are you really from? Are you from Netria? Are you from Arrival? Are you Genus. from Onik himself? Um, Genus. We are all from Genus. All righty. Well, I just won't pry then. No problem. What I would it take it to convince you to uh, believe that we are actually from the moon? Believe what you will, my friends. I have no objections here. No judgment. He clearly doesn't believe you. He's like, in all my fucking years on this planet, the moon has no fucking life on it. What are you talking about? It's ridiculous. May I ask a question of you? Uh, sure. You may. Um, Rhea... Do you, do you still call this planet Rhea? Well, yes. How... The past few thousand years... Um... Can you update me on the history of the planet? Well, I mean... Apart from just general knowledge, I mean, I don't know. Uh, yeah, uh, also, once he starts explaining, like, uh, Chance will literally take out a book and start... Take out his, his notebook and start writing down what he says. <laughs> Assume um, we don't have general knowledge. Um, say, uh, when, when was the break? Literally a thousand years ago? Yeah. Start from a thousand years ago. There was a cataclysmic event, yes? I mean, I'm not that old, but yes, there was. Uh, most of, uh, as far as I understand it, most of uh, humanity departed to parts unknown. Don't know, even know if they survived. It's most, it's assumed that they were destroyed. Um, the rest of us who weren't as lucky made our way underground. We sought refuge in the arms of the Underdark and were sheltered there for a time. And then, once everything was settled, we emerged from our hole and set up shop anew. And apart from I that, there's fascinating. years. I must years. ask, how did you survive the planet breaking apart? Not as everyone else did, uh, magics and blessings from the Spider Queen. It seems that oh. her and her subjects are oh. not keen to being destroyed. Gods need oh. worshippers too, you know. Oh, so she set up shop, huh? That's good. Well, Spider Queen. there are followers of her all over the place, but not everyone subscribes to that belief. Most of her teachings are... Unsavory. Uh, can I make a history check to see if, like, there's any records of Loth way back, uh, like, in our own records? Like, I mean, hey, this, you don't this, need this, to. This, you have a drow in the party. Like, yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there's Loth everywhere. Loth is, uh, has been a pervading force. There are people who still worship Loth even after the 
the breaking. Um, even on the moon, the dark elf. There is a dark elf colony that still kind of follows the old ways, but with the understanding that without cooperation from everybody, the majority of people basically lose out on life and getting to survive. So they had to kind of like, you know, as as many religions do, when something doesn't suit them, they adapt or they bowl it over. And in this case, since they're the minority, they had to adapt. So the Lolf sects of drow that exist on the moon are few and far between and don't necessarily follow the same scripture as was before. Just out of necessity. Savanta just like scratches their chin. So that's how you all survive. The magic of gods is very powerful, my friend. It's the only thing that kept this planet together, as far as we know. That's the only thing that kept us safe on the moon. And again, with that, I, whichever town or province you're from... Uh, look, look. Even if you don't believe we, us, we, could, we could probably prove it to you later by showing you the Ark. It's irrelevant. Just keep telling me history. Hey, don't anyway, be rude. Well, don't be rude. the first humans who came back and started living on the surface... Uh, formed their kingdom here and named it after themselves. There's a whole long lineage of that, but essentially the sorcerer kings of old basically set up this whole the rest of civilization, found the other shards of Rhea and filled them with peoples, and writing, uh, kept keeping what you know little knowledge they had of the old world, whatever we managed to gather before making our way into the Underdark. Many knowledge, many, many a book was lost to us. I mean, we we have enough to work off of, and we had enough craftsmen to rewrite them, but a lot of history was gone. A lot of uh, advanced techniques were gone. People were lost by the millions. It's, it was a huge travesty, but now the world is at least on its way to healing. Well, as much as I can heal when it's broken into pieces, but fair enough. Well, I have faith. That, I have faith that one day everything will reform itself, let's say. It will just take a little bit of time. Time that I won't be around for, and neither will you, but... Anyway, enough about this. You should all know, you're in Onik right now. Kingdom of... We are where? Onik, Kingdom of Man. How do you spell Kingdom. that? The, the Onik. The, I can. I know Kingdom of Man. Yeah, it's very. Well, it's O N I C K. Okay. Perfect. Right, so did anyone here have Zone of Truth? No. He's no. just being friendly. He's like, you should all know this. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> um, were you not I, taught I, I anything in school? I was just guess it on ourselves. That's all. Very strange. Like, uh, this. Like your... Pro this province is preceded over by uh, one of the princes of the kingdom currently. Oh, so, uh, oh, so it's a monarchy. Huh. Interesting. So we'd like uh, to uh, dip to Yeah, dip to I don't. I yes. couldn't understand what you said, sir. Too quiet. Uh, I, uh, <clears throat> I uh, said like a like a dukedom. No, it is. It has a king. We have a king. No, no, like there's a king. Then below it, it's like the duke. Oh, yes. Well, the the king divided the country into three provinces and gave each province to a son of his. So This one is presided over by Prince Brom, and he's been a fair ruler so far. Haven't really wanted for much. Uh, again, could you... I'm sorry we are prying so much. Again, even if you believe us or not, this is our first time back on the planet, so we... I want to get as much information as possible to give to our leaders. Your leaders who are who, exactly? Uh, well, we have... Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. Do we leader. really want... I understand your point of view, but do we want to reveal everything to them? I also, feel it's only okay, fair. We have a captain who is... Yeah, a... also, that's another thing I want to bring out. The captain's a little bit crazy. Do we really want this oh, yeah. nice old man to meet the crazy captain? Not that captain. I'm talking about the captain of the guard. Okay, the captain okay. Who drove the ship is insane. Yes. Sorry. Oh, yeah, he's a bad shit crazy. 
Listen. I mean, he was laughing when we were fucking crash landing. I feel that is insane. the old man speaks again. I feel it's only fair that you answer a few of my questions now, since I've been so gracious in answering yours. Of course, of course. If you are truly from the moon, how did you get here? Uh, on an ark. What is an I, I imagine they don't know what that is. Uh, uh, you don't have water on the planet. Um, vehicles, land vehicles, carts, mm -hmm. you know those? Yes, of course, we have those. And we also I have imagine... water, by the way. It's not gone. Wait, life life could not gone? survive on this planet without it. Yeah. I believe he was referring to oceans, like large, yeah, uh, large bodies. What is an ocean? Of course, you uh, see? It's a, the, 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 a big boy. Um, so, imagine a, well, a boat, but large enough to carry around 200 people and cargo flying with, ma with the aid of magic through the atmosphere and crashing down, and that was us just a few hours ago. Oh, I see. So you were aboard a sky barge, then? That explains oh. a lot, and it certainly explains your memory loss, my friend. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sky grateful bar. you all survived. Sky barge. Uh, wait, it's like, it's like a sky barge, but... Now. Yes, a flying ship, of course. Uh, may I speak, please? Think sky barge, but flying through space, hanging atmosphere, Getting struck by lightning, setting itself on fire, crashing, putting itself out, and well, I don't, then... I don't know who your captain is, but they should not have been flying that close to the Arcanite storms. It's just bad business. We had to fly through the Arcanite storms, actually, look, to get to you, the planet. Look, Tavanta, they don't, they're not going to believe us at this point. We'd have to take them back to the camp in order to show them, and no, I don't no. think the guard chance. captain will allow that. Chance, chance. They may, they, one of them actually did believe us, first of all. And second of all, <laughs> not well, taking anyone. At this uh, point, uh, hold on. At this point, the, <laughs> at this point, the, the guy who believed you before is like, oh, they're just crazy or concussed or something. Like, you, you basically described something that's familiar to them and an event that happened that could destroy your memory. So they're like, they're going, oh, okay. It, they need help. <laughs> okay. Oh, either, okay. Either way. Some of them should go back and talk with the guard captain or the archmage, not the ship's captain. However, I don't think it's safe for them. If they, uh, if they, if the wood is as truly dangerous as one of them had mentioned before, is it safe to I go? I don't mean right now. Uh, Master Taldenar probably has enough, has enough good know how to show them the truth, or they can't deny it. But well. Hmm. How to show him? Oh, I know how to show you here. And uh, Tavanta will take out his star maps and other maps, uh, like sketches he like made of the planet from the moon's perspective. Well, these are very nice drawings, but I don't know. Uh, what is this supposed don't call to be? My life work drawings. That is so. I'm an astrologist. These what, were what is an star chart. He studies skies, the stars. You study the clouds, then? No, no the Look. stars, my friend. You haven't seen them because they are about... Oh, wait, you exactly. haven't seen them. They haven't seen it. At this point, we just gonna get nowhere if you try to keep on trying to convince them. Okay, we're, we're not from here. Play. I just... It, it baffles me how you could form an entire career around something that you only see once every, you know, month or two. When there's a party oh, in the clouds. Your life, but how about this, Mister? Uh, I'm sorry, I've forgotten your name in my fervor. Yeah, I, I forgot his name too. <laughs> you were supposed <laughs> to write that down. <laughs> <laughs> Some and did anybody write it down? Or are we all just bad gamers? Uh, I did not We're have my game. Uh, uh, I remember the human was Manfred because I remember thinking of a joke around so that name. There's Manfred is the is the human. And then Jorick, Jorick was the half elf. Elder. Yeah, Jorick was the half elf. And the elder guy. We're gonna call. We're gonna call him uh, uh, something else. John. <laughs> I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna come up with a different name. We're just gonna change the canon in the middle of the thing because I forgot. I made up all these names on the spot. Free. I did not have names for these people. So he's gonna be. Uh, he's gonna be Elder Oberyn. Sure. Oberyn. Oberyn. So. 
O B R Y N. For those oh, of you, really? write the write it the fuck down, please, because I'm not gonna I'm remember. Writing it down now. Uh, oh, so oh, if we, uh, like so here, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it because so I don't forget. Uh, if uh, I don't know, uh, probably not tonight. But if okay. you want, in the morning we could head to the uh, where we crashed. We have a small. Uh, we have. Uh, a uh, few people there, and we can show you what we were talking about. Uh, tomorrow, perhaps. If your people need help, we'd be... We don't have much to provide, but we can at least provide shelter if you're uh, in need of it. Oh, no, we don't... We, we're good with shelter. The no, I don't, made us, I don't uh, think it is, you have enough no. room. It is also... It is, it is very late at night. That you should not be traveling these woods alone. We reckon, I, I would I offer said. I would offer our, our hospitality to you at least for tonight uh, if you wish to um, talk to your leaders and let them know that you're alright I, I don't mind that but if we, it currently it's not safe to be traveling the woods you could okay, at least so offer you beds for the night well, yeah, what and then hopefully you will join us like tomorrow Sam. If you wish, I, if you, you wish me to, I, I would love to meet your leader and see if whatever aid I can provide. Unless you can provide aid for 120 odd people, I doubt. Shut the fuck up! Okay, never mind. That was out of character, by the way. That's a very large crew. I'm glad that many of you survived. But either way, did not. we we can provide some help at the very least, and perhaps a, simple medicines and herbs for the injured or. Uh, something like that. I just, I, I would hate to see people in need go without our help, and so would my lady, so. So, what Tavanta does is that he uses one of his wild shapes to summon a, another, uh, a falcon again, and he will write out a note to uh, the archmage, uh, and uh, basically let him know that uh, he, uh, they, uh, the, the light in the distance have been investigated, there is a small uh, not clan, what's the word I'm looking for? A uh, tribe of people. We are speaking, uh, the elder has offered us hospitality. They seem non-hostile. Uh, we will come back in the morning. And then I will tie that to the hawk and I will send it okay. and tell it uh, to go for the archmage. Okay. Send your hawk off and off it goes. Very well. Um, if you wish to join us, please follow me. I'll see if I can what? find a few beds for you to crash in for the night. Elder stands up, and the other two follow him towards the cave. Uh, any objection if we get our weapons back, at least? I feel like that would be fine. I don't sense cool. any hostility from any of you yet. I grab uh, can I make an like insight stuff. check on him real quick? I'd also like to do an insight check. Sure. What are you trying just to inside check though? Well, like, what what's the purpose? Uh, I'm just trying to see if he's as like like genuinely like wants to help us as uh, as he as he seems. I'm or, yeah, I'm saying there's any ulterior motives stuff like that. Okay. So yeah, specifically for him being genuinely wanting to help. Hiya, eighteen. Oh. Okay. Well. Well, with a 12, I mean, he, he's very, very eager to help you guys. He seems like the, that's his whole fucking deal. Um, with an 18, though, um, I'll give you this. He's <clears throat> he's willing to help you, but he has a an air about him that does seem familiar to you. An air about him that seems very um, uh, priestly. Okay. So perhaps, that could be many things. Well, I mean, perhaps he's he's a clergyman of some kind. He did mention that his lady would want him to help people out. So you don't know. I mean, it seems like uh, he, he seems like a if you were talking to a pastor or something like that. Um, very, you know, like come come in, my child. Let us help you. Let us shepherd you and shelter you from the cold and like that kind of feeling. He also did um, mention he. I, I sort of know it's not lulled because he didn't mention he wasn't a priest. He did mention that also was described to her police, and implying he was one of them that didn't. 
I thought he said he didn't subscribe to her beliefs. Yeah, I said, I he said that not everyone subscribes to her beliefs. He never said what he subscribes yeah. to. Uh, all right, I, I will fought. We will before we're fed to spiders. Before, yeah, uh, we're probably I'm, gonna be fed to spiders, guys, but it's okay. I'm just gonna ask this. I'm not trying to game this me Gallant thing. Yeah, I follow. Uh, do you, sir, do you happen to worship any gods? Just out of curiosity. Oh, I, I used to, but that was before I found my lady. She showed me the light. She's given me many gifts. In my time here, and, yeah, it, uh, I of course uh, I would have to ask her if, if she can spare an audience. She is, after all, greater than myself. But I, um, I will entreat her and ask on your behalf. And if she agrees, then I will take you to meet her. But in the meantime, I would uh, like to lead you to your chambers, and get you some rest. You seem very tired. Uh, in need of, in need of respite. <laughs> you know, VG, we have been d and together for a long time. And I, in my heart, want to believe that you actually didn't set up like a horrible, deadly encounter, but you set up a, a, a tentative group of tri, a, a tentative tribal group that really is just thinking we're crazy and isn't hostile. But I also know most, I also know you and know that we're probably gonna die. We're the Onis, boy. Uh, Mask, who is this lady you're talking about? Is she has a official name other than my lady? She has I not, believe. she has not oh, given me her name. She is only, she is a, a graceful spirit who has sheltered all of us, has led us here to this location, and has managed to essentially provide a new start for most of the members of our group here. It's essentially a do-over. A lot of us were ne'er-do-wells or people who were lost in terms of uh, their life's goals and designations and purpose, and she has granted us all of that. Bless you, my child. <laughs> All right, uh, I guess we follow him into the cave, unless yeah, anyone has any know. objections. Yeah, I follow quietly. Just Tavanta internally screaming that his entire life's work means nothing here. <laughs> as, as, as Flander said, it feels like nothing at all. So he, he basically he leads you into this entry room and it's <clears throat> it's down a set of like we're very well kept and carved stone steps um, leads down into this area that is um, it's basically like inside of this cavern a um, a stone structure that's been basically dug and constructed into the side of this small hill and on the walls you can see various um, hieroglyphic runes and symbols with some kind of meaning um, as well as several uh, potted plants that against all odds are growing underground without sunlight um, in this entry kind of foyer um, you can see at the end of it there's a set of double doors a big wooden double doors um, the elder turns around to you to you all and says wait right here I'm going to prepare the congregation for your arrival so they don't freak out about random people joining us in the middle of the night I shall return shortly. And with that, he... I so want to believe, VG, that this is a good encounter. I so do. He opens the double door and uh, disappears behind it and shuts uh, it behind goes, him. Yeah, as he goes in, I'm going to lean over to Moya, but am I the only one getting extremely bad vibes? We are not the only one. Well, I mean... I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm not that scary, am I? You're the only ones with souls to steal, Master. I'm going to be perfectly fine, no matter what happens. What do you mean? Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> Tavanta truly believes that he he has made a good first contact and is just like very, is like, what are you talking about? This was great. This went well. I, I look at him incredulous, uh, look uh, expression on my face, like, 
You can't be that naive. What do you mean? Of course, there's going to be a difference in religion and in in stuff here. There, there, there. This is this is great. We are learning so much. Uh, but yes, there's a thing. The Oracle already said they're gonna have the same gods. And then they were talking about loans. Well, I would suppose that you, whenever you are, you know, falling, you'll grab onto anything that could help you. You know. Okay, okay. I, I I understand what you're saying, and I, while I may have sucked in school, especially in history because there's a fucking boring topic, but you're if I cool. remember correctly, Los was an evil goddess. Oh, she is. She absolutely is. I choose to subscribe to the fact and to the belief that anything is possible. And yes, anything is possible, as in she and probably would have extracted great payment for saving them. Or that through the act of saving these people from an impossible catastrophe, maybe they have changed the goddess. I don't know, and we don't know. And, and first of all, this person doesn't even worship love. So why is that the problem? They worship the lady. We don't even know who the lady is. Exactly. Uh, you're right. You're absolutely right. We're literally walking into unknown. That's what concerns me. And you and might so be okay we, with We were just flying a thousand miles per hour into the unknown like three hours earlier. Exactly. I know. Ivanta, I can also bring up multiple instances of history where this kind of behavior leads to something very bad. Are you... Uh, I am more concerned that all of you. I think we should even stay, though he stay vigilant. Him so well. Yes, I still think we should stay vigilant. We don't know these people, and we don't know. Hope for the Tomato. best, prepare for the worst. So that way, you know, yeah. either pleasant, you're never disappointed, and you're always pleasantly surprised. So that is a great way to look at life. I mean, we did sort of just lose eighty people plus. So, yeah, we are a little bit grim. This is what they did for... A AZ people that we know of, by the way. There's still people missing. That's why I said plus. I did a head count. Where yes, minimal. you've mentioned multiple times that you've done a head count. I'm fairly aware of your position. It's honestly a bit depressing, to be honest. <laughs> I Even he one. agrees, and he's a... You're a devil, right? Master, if I may, you still have that spell up correctly, Mr. Tevanta? Uh, you mean the... Oh, no, yeah. no, no, you are not suggesting what I think you are. Well, if you're all oh. so concerned and confused as I think you are, I could scout ahead. See if I can I, uncover anything on Kuth. I am not concerned. They that's, are concerned. They are, that's a very great suggestion. I pat yes, on the shoulder and give him guidance. We are here on good faith. We, we this are is actually not best, here. But they borrowed. We are actually not here on good faith. We are here to gather information and see if they're. No, I'm saying we are here inside their uh, home, or so to speak on good faith that we will not be enemies. They get, we gained their trust. That's why we're we sending him. Nice. We're not going, he is. They saw him with us. Okay, do you really consider, if it wasn't for the pact you have with your master, did you? do you really consider yourself to be with us? I'm looking um. at the devil. No. That doesn't. That doesn't matter. See, there we go. They, the tribal people, saw him with us. Therefore, he is associated with us. Do you think we could just ignore a how tall is Moyle? No fucking no. Uh, pro <laughs> probably a very lengthy, lank, lanky, but decently sized. He's a medium-sized well, creature. Yeah. So no more so, than like six four. Or six five. Like, I'm gonna say he's six foot. A six foot, uh, devilish person. 
You think we would just ignore that? No, they associate him with us. If they sne see him sneaking around, that puts bad. That that makes us look bad. What well, if this is actually a really good situation and we ruin it by having him sneak around? Huh? How would you feel then? I this could be horrible. our first good this contact is, and with the people. At the same stuff. token, this could be a bad contact, as in they're trying to entrap us. We have our backs to the door right now. Yeah. And they're probably hearing every single word we just said. Exactly. It's not making us look better. You shouting doesn't then, help then, either. Then, 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 uh, why are you guys t talking? How about we put it to a vote? Oh God, I will cancel this spell. So well, that's fun. Somebody has a motorcycle, and that's really cool. Welcome to North Hollywood, motherfuckers. Hey, he's playing the Kenku. Anyway, so <laughs> do you? Do we? Somebody uh, rips ass in the next room over. So group consensus: Do we want <laughs> to uh, try to scout out, head our host? It's not up to me. I was just offering. My master is the one who decides. Well, that's why I'm asking the group in general. It's up to you. What would you I have me do, good. master? I want to believe these are common people. But well, the last time I thought nothing bad was going to happen, someone died. God rest Mr. Fishface. I mean, that was just a lapse in judgment. We were traveling through a place called the Darkwood where many things crawl around. If I remember correctly. Yeah, the darklings are fairly common in the dark wood. I think it goes hand in hand. That was, again, you don't have to beat yourself up about that. It was a, it was an honest mistake, and all that was lost were uh, personality things. No, the darklings beat you up about it plenty. Dinner. Don't worry about it. And, and uh, nothing was lost dinner. except for dinner that day, anyway. But regardless, it is your Boy, decision I'm... now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I uh, don't sucks. feel uh, too, too bad. Someone lost my uh, lost That my, uh, actually gets chance to crack up a bit. <laughs> that was just. <laughs> that was foul. <laughs> I, um, I lost my eye in the dark wood. Kind of hurt. I don't have it anymore. Kind of just points to the scar in his like face. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. You are going to hide in here. Moil. So that way, if they try any, so if they try anything, you get the, you can get the drop on. Where shall I hide, Master? In the bushes or? No, oh, are we inside? Or are we still outside? Like you're inside. Well, no, I was asking you, VG. You are inside. <laughs> <laughs> you can see yourselves in the foyer, right? Like, I'm not in a black map right now. Uh, no black map for me. Fuck. Oh, no, no, never mind, never mind, never mind. Found it. Yeah. Sorry. Look around. You Sorry. should have a place where you can see things. There's an entryway. Yeah, yeah. Are, are, are these buttons, or are they just, like, pillars? Or, like, what, what's the these? Uh, it's, like, uh, hieroglyphs that are carved on stone tablets and set on shelves. Can I then to make a religion check for those? Sure. By the way, uh, can, uh, can I just snap to the view, uh, to my falcon's eyes and see how, how far they, uh, where they are? You can do that from a mile away, right? From two miles away? I can do that from a limited range. I can't telepathically communicate it from within 100 feet. Gotcha. Okay. Um, your uh, falcon is still flying currently um, toward the illusory mountain that was created, essentially. Oh, I know nothing. Mm -hmm. Um... You're drow, right? Yeah. You don't know the meaning of the symbols, but you know that they're uh, an older form of elvish. Not your elvish. But not, not like dark elf elvish, like wood elf elvish. I was about to say they're, new elvish. Like, these are elvish, like wood elf elvish, not drow elvish. Uh, I, 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 since there's not much else to do, I'll, I'll kind of just start looking over the things here making 
you making use of my role as, like, as antiquarian. Yeah, there you go. So go ahead and roll your history check for me, please. Medium DC is 15. Okay, well. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, no, it's, it's like the, the symbols, knowing that they're elvish helps, but in terms of understanding their exact meaning, you're not gleaning a lot. It's like, it's so old, and there's not really any examples of this, even from records of the old world. Like, fucking, I have a plus seven in history, and I still couldn't get that. One yeah. fucking hey, well, dice off. I mean, to be fair, you might have plus seven to history, but you don't know history of what happened on this planet, so. You don't know shit, bitch. I mean, but yeah, this, uh, this takes an hour, so. Uh, my eyes got a chance to get that done. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take a call. I'm gonna be right back. Cool. Uh, I'm just gonna ask Moyle to hide around here, try and make sure that if anything goes fucky, he can get he can stop it. Oh, in the shadows. Uh, roll a stealth check, please. Fourteen. Oh. What's the what? Uh, guidance, oh, D4. Guidance. I see. <clears throat> cool. Total of 21? Yep. Okay, sounds good. He's going to crouch over one of the symbols at the corner there. He's going to basically meld into the shadows as best he can, and he looks pretty good. If you all didn't know he was there, you all wouldn't be able to see him. Alrighty. At this point... Uh, if there's no one else wants to do anything, then I'm going to bring the Elder back in. He's going to show you to the bed chambers. No? Turns out he has true sight yeah. and he can see the demon. Cool. Alright, let me <laughs> fucking move Wait. some... Let me move some shit around here so you guys can explore uh, the actual thing. Uh, let me grab... Yeah. I'm going to have Moyle stay Oop, there. That's so that way, like if need be, he can kind of creep around and follow us without being spotted, hopefully. Sure. I mean, the Elder comes up here, looks at all of you. Your beds have been prepared. I've uh, taken the liberty of <clears throat> allowing each of you also uh, a candle and some rations for the night, if in fact you are famished at all. Um, follow me, please. And he begins to walk down the stairs through the door. Um, you pass, as you are walking down, you do see there are four other individuals um, that you don't recognize here, and they are um, essentially uh, bowed in prayer um, around this center um, kind of relief on the floor of a, a moon symbol with like flowing vines or swirls or whatever coming off of it. Uh, don't mind them. They're in prayer for now. See them most likely in the morning. Let's see, where did I put the bedchambers here? There they are. I actually have to fucking move this shit around. Takes out a set of keys. Unlocks the door here. Uh, moves on through into this next room. You can see that there is um, another individual in the same robes that he has um, who is quietly reading a book and another person who's... Uh, I'll put him over here. He's sitting in a chair, fast asleep, seeming to have uh, uh, fallen asleep, basically, um, at the job or whatever he was doing. I don't know. Walks over here. Unlocks this door. Delete. Moving on. Uh, into this room, you can see that there is a um, a door to the south, but he is going to go to the north. Up here, there are two more doors at the end of this hallway. He's going to lead you down the right side, though. Uh, roll 20 is crapping out on me, and I'm on my phone. I don't know what's going on with my internet. Oh, just, don't worry oh, about I'll it. We're just that. going down the hallway. Okay. Moves you down through here. This room has a lot of very odd, uh, some odd, some familiar vegetables and plants yes. that have been growing also underground here, and with one person tending them with a uh, 
uh, a watering pail of sorts, just going around and making sure all of them are properly watered. Uh, he appears to be human, as far as you know. Goes up through this door, unlocks it, goes through here. Because the, like, depending on how uh, how well lit was that entry chamber, that curiosity? Um, it was only lit by the light coming in from outside. So, yeah. A lot, yeah. A lot of these, um, a lot of these rooms are lit by, like, candle light, or that room with the four praying people actually had, it had four small braziers that were glowing with blue fire, specifically. But, um, yeah, not a lot of light down here underground. It's basically lit by candle light and nothing else. On the bright, because that would also mean that if it was dim light, that the old man would have like if it was dim light out, uh, if it was dim light in there, then Moya would have had a lot easier time hiding because perception to see him would have been a disadvantage. I mean, either way, um, it's a natural twenty. Unless you beat that, then it doesn't matter. Uh, well, so you your old disadvantage? to see him, yes, but he couldn't see him. He was over the ridge. He heard Moyle. It's different. Um. Anyway, regardless of that, the Elder basically leads you guys into this is a bed chamber here. Um, move you into the room. It's going to be tight, but you should be able to fit here. Um, I've had Yorick and Manfred finish up making the beds, and they will leave you be. Well, he's... Elder made no comment on Moyle, so... How... Dirty was the hallway as we we were progressing. It was pretty well kept. It's not like it was like dusty or decrepit at all. This place is actually remarkably well constructed and preserved. Like there's not a lot of cracks in the walls or in the floors. There's not a lot of tiles missing anywhere. It's like this place was basically brand new. <laughs> oh. And the rest of you. Hold on, I'm gonna bring you through so you can see. So there's the people praying. He went down this hallway here. Through this area, there's people at the table doing things, moving onward. Comes up through this hallway here. Into this hallway here. Comes down through here. This is the plant room. Goes up through here. And there's the bed. Okay. Alrighty, well. I will... Leave you to it. Oh, when did Devin die? Hmm? He has to go. Emergency things are happening, and he won't be joining us for the rest of the game. Most likely. I don't know why I'm talking as the Elder, but there you go. Um, so, yeah, you reach the bedroom. Um, Yorick and Manfred are there finishing making the beds. Um, they kind of fall in line. Oops. Fall in line behind the Elder here. If there's nothing, if there's anything else you need, please let me know. I will uh, also retire for the night. Um, please be sure uh, not to um, room the halls too much. We didn't want to disturb the others who are going through their prayers or their studies. And we will discuss uh, anything else in the morning. Fair enough? Yeah. 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 Excellent. All right. Well then, I will bid you good night. And he trapeses off somewhere else around here. I'm just gonna put them over there for now. That was terrifying. Just saw him disappear. Whoa, whoa, man! Fucking zoomed through the wall like a fucking ghost or something. The flash. Uh, Chan says what elder is, uh, elder. What? Oh. What race is the elder? He appears to be human, as far as you know. I'm a big guy, so I want my bed to myself. Hmm. So who's doing first watch? I will. Okay. You wanted Moyle to follow you, right? Yeah. And like Moyle to come in after to see if anything he spots anything on his way to us. Well, I mean, other than what you saw, 
I didn't see very much else. I saw all the entrances that you were led past. If you wish me to investigate those, I absolutely can. Wake me up for a second. And I kind of just, you know, get comfortable under the blankie and fall asleep. Uh, I well, just sort of fall into my trance. Well, you and I are on first watch. Man, it crops up. Well, those claws aren't not for show. Very well, Master. I will keep watch with you. Basically, just stands in the doorway. <laughs> it's a very narrow hallway. Uh, not not a lot of room to for anyone to pass by. So they, they are going to have to go through him if they want to go through you. Anything else? Uh, aside from keeping watch, I, unless something else happens at night, nope, just wake someone else up for second watch and they wake up someone else for third. I am technically also a third on watch due to I don't technically sleep. I can still hear stuff. Oh, yeah, it's elf. Okay. Elf. So, whoever is on first watch, go ahead and make me perception checks. Uh, Which is loyal and chance. You did custom lineage, you don't get chance. And me. Okay, Moyle. Chill. Lots of natural 20s and max rolls here. Uh, I, I really shit today. Um, uh, eventually, through the night, um, you do you hear the, the person in the um, hallway before you, the one that was watering the plants, uh, you hear him finish up his work and exit the chamber, presumably out to somewhere else because he doesn't appear in your bedchambers. First um, hour or so, not too eventful other than that. However, um, Moyle looks at you. He perks his head up after a while and looks at you and says, Did you hear that, Master? I keep, I'll just give my chance roll to 16. The sky level to 10. Because it's, it's oh. I know. Did you hear that, Master? Uh, no, I did not. What'd you hear? Well, I mean. I've heard many of it where I'm from, but it sounded like a scream of terror to me from further inside the hallway. Oh, that's not good. Like a, hmm, if I were to remember the voice, it was like a woman. It sounded like a woman. Could have been a very effeminate man for all I know, but. <laughs> it's a cute Theovane showing up. Hello, everybody. That's that's not Theovane. I know. Uh, uh, I'm As gonna start wake. I'm gonna start waking people up. Has it been four hours? No, it's been like two hours. No, I sorry. It's been about one and a half. One and a half hours. Would this, would this be considered? At least we t have taken a successful short rest now. Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna start waking people up. Hey. Well, I heard something. Sound like someone's screaming. Hmm. I'm gonna pull out my mall. Watch. Was... I swear. I swear to God, with Moyle, if it's not someone screaming and, and that's scream, if it's not screaming, they said screaming terror. If it's like a fucking just two of these fucking church people getting it on, I'm gonna fucking deck him. I would never lie to you, Master. It definitely didn't sound like they were having a good time. <laughs> good. Okay, that means that. Was it like screams of agony, terror, like seeing fucking something terrifying terror? It seemed like fear to me, but I think oh, that's just as much as I could infer from it. Well, let's, uh, let's investigate. I'm right. going to go ahead and cast this on myself since this last an hour. You okay? Uh would you should we go with uh, Mr. Uh, so this probably run out. I'm gonna so this probably run out. I'm gonna recast uh, Mage Armor. Oh, he left. Crap. 
he had yeah he had to go he had an emergency happen so we're not going to see him again he, he, he was so he was he, such a deep sleep he's, he's going to fall asleep that, and he's that, not going to be that's with that's you guys gone. so have fun with that Got me too Boom. downside of being a parent you learn how to sleep deep despite being disturbed get down get down get down with the sickness I'm a pup. I'm all to do having a halberd in a narrow hallway isn't the best idea. Or da dagger in one hand, uh, stained glass, magnifying glass in the other. <laughs> hey guys, you should let me lead the group. Up to you. You guys move your characters where you need them to be. Star Cow's gonna go to sleep. So. If you want to lead, you can. I hold yeah, up my to... shield, so if we get attacked, I can impose disadvantage. I will stay here and guard our stuff. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Where in the sh... Where'd you go? Just keep following the hallway. Uh, more... Where did it sound like the scream was coming from? Further inside the... weird cave we're in? I don't know. Uh, come on, we'll find it. You know as much as I do, Master. Uh, which way? Um, to the left is where you came from. To the right, there are two doors at the end of the hallway, one on the left-hand side, one on the right-hand side, that have not been looked in yet. Just turn Let's around quietly to the demon. Yeah, uh, I guess Moyle will try and we'll try and see if he can hear more screams. I guess. Uh, okay. Make a perception check. Mm -hmm. Oh. No. Yeah. Uh, I'm uh, also overall perception. Seems quiet to me, Master. Except for uh, feet shuffling across the ground, of course. Oh, that's twenty-one. Oh nice. Um, closing your eyes and listening, you do actually hear, you hear something down the right-hand side of the hallway, you hear, uh, the sound of rushing water. Which way is right? So, from your right, so I'm assuming you're facing, yeah. If you're yeah, facing so, this oh, way, yeah, then it'll be way. up here, that way. Yeah. I hear something. Rushing Try water. this mainly. door over here. Is it locked? It's definitely coming from the left door, and no, it's not locked. This one here? Mm hmm Give me a second. Oh, I guess you can just fucking walk through that. Sounds good. <laughs> That's fine. I just I'm delay it so that the light oh. works. I teleported. Oh. Hold on a second. I'm gonna actually see if I can fix that real quick, because you're not supposed to be able to go through the doors. Well. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to uh, do that. There it is. Dynamic lighting barriers restrict movement. There we go, save settings. <laughs> okay. All right. I like slowly peek my head through the doorway, like holding up my shield. Okay. Um, inside of this room, you can see um, there are two people who are um, currently. Uh, they're not bathing, but they're they're like washing themselves off in a a pool of water that's collecting from um, a stream that seems to be funneled through this area. What are they cleaning off of themselves? Is there like anything in the water around them? You're not in that room yet, so you don't get to make a check. Uh, can I make a check? Yeah, sure. Uh, what do I need to roll? Would this be a perception investigation? It'd be perception. Okay. Okay. So that loads. Looks like Sometimes. I'm not rolling good at all today. Ten. Your four. your dark vision doesn't necessarily work in color um whatever it is though it's it's painted in designs on their body and they're washing off the the painted uh, symbols basically are these, these doors locked that door to the right is locked yes uh i'm gonna quietly put my shield down and like ask um is this the bathroom you see both of them kind of jerk start. Oh! 
What in the world? You scared the hell out of me. Um, sorry, I just really need to go. Are you not supposed to be asleep? I really need to go. Well, make your way outside then. There's not really a latrine down here that we can um, offer you. Thank you. There's also chamber pots under each of your beds if you'd bother to look. Oh, um, uh, thank you. Bye. <laughs> Close the door. <laughs> Close the door quietly. What, what the hell is a chamber pot? I'm whispering. It's a pot. Take a dump in. You know what a chamber oh. pot is. There's no toilets on the moon. <laughs> oh. uh, Moyle and Chant are still trying to listen for more of the scream. Okay. Everything else is silent. I mean, other than the, the conversation that was had just now. This is odd question, um, but can I... I'll give you... Whose perception check is that 19? Moyle. Um, Moyle does say, uh, there appears to be snoring coming from the other side of that locked door. If that helps, but I hear nothing else. I'm going back to time. Uh, just out of curiosity, do I smell? Can I? Hmm. Either way, my character is actually going back to the room because he does need to use the chamber pot. Okay, well, he's out of here. <laughs> Make you make your way back. Uh, I, I wish I could have asked when I was if he was in the room, but I guess Whee. not that one. Uh, we should probably just head back to the room. Whatever the scream was, it's gone now, and it's not. Oh, come back now! Oh no! There could be someone in trouble. I mean, in this room, there is another door in this room that you haven't gone through as well. To the south. Um, and then there were also other doors that you saw, or other pathways at the very least. Oh um, man, I can't. Further in. Them. It's up to you how far you want to explore, but. Okay. My thing being weird. Is the door locked over here? Kevin? That door is definitely locked. It has a big ass steel lock on it. And we don't have anybody that could pick locks, do we? No, no rogues in this party. We well, had someone that could smash down doors. You're right. I pull out my I pull out my hammer. I can probably nope. break the nope. lock, nope. but nope. I won't be silent. Uh, is there like a key nearby, or does it seem like there's just a? Not that you know. Uh, as far as I can, as far as you can tell, just by looking around passively, no, you don't see a key anywhere. I don't think there's anything else for it. We should just go back to the room. If anything happens, we can. At least we're defensible in there. One way in, one way out. Other than the uh, Wait, the set of keys the elder had, there's no other keys that you've seen so far. Wait, is this is this an elder? Uh, that's another. Yeah, that's another another person. It's not a, not an elder. I just used the same token image. Seems like a, a younger guy, um, cleanly shaven, same red robes as the elder, though. Right, so let's, everyone, let's just go back to the room. I I don't think that's. God damn it. He has since fallen asleep. Also, the him him and his the other person in that room are both snoring lightly. What if someone's in trouble? If that scream was an indication from Moyle, it's likely if there was a problem, it. Not one anymore. Well, that's one way of putting it, Master. It's kind of morbid, though, for you. And there's nothing we can do right now. We don't have enough info, and we have no way of getting it anywhere. It's... I mean, I don't agree. There's plenty we could do. We could go on a rampage and slaughter all these people, but that's, you know. Slaughter. Moral boundaries, you know, mortals. Yeah, that's it. Mm. I'm just First saying it's an option. Mm. Aren't just about time to for be doing watch, contracts, not wanting slaughter. I thought that was a demon's regard. That, again, I'm just saying it's an option. I didn't say I liked the option. Don't have a point. <laughs> I don't like it. Does have a point. 
I don't like I don't like the sitting around doing nothing either, but we don't have we We and don't so we're just... We we don't let no nobody even game we're playing, let alone what cards we have in hand. It's just trying to figure this out first. Pretty well. I have a feeling that someone's in fucking trouble and that we're just waiting for something bad to happen. And I don't like it. And you think I do? I've already said I don't. But what other choice do we have? Because if these are, if these people are as worst case scenario, these people are blood cultists or whatever. Uh, us worst case scenario, got, they're actually Onis. Us revealing anything means us revealing we know something's wrong means they move quicker. And we lose any element of surprise you may have had. If we well, wait, I have an idea. No, if we wait and know something's up. Well, I have a way to do this. That's not the good or evil. Give me one minute. If we can go back there real quick. Evil what? I can... If we go hey. back there right now, I can try to use. Give me one minute. I have this. I can. Hmm. So you guys do that, I'm laying back. Divine now. sense. As an action, I attach good and evil until the end of my next turn. And all of the sense, uh, really What does it allow you to sense? Right Faithings, undead, and elementals? Or? Uh, it allows you to sense good and evil. No, that's okay. Get that's, the get the that. actual ability up, please. Let me know. Uh, okay. This is why you need to have it on your character sheet. Because if it's just sensing good and evil, then you're you don't have the actual ability. That's not what it says. <laughs> and I know it's not. I've played a paladin before. I've also me played too. a paladin. Well, Playing paladins are fun. I, I mean, you, you, be you can this today. You can, you can detect the presence of any consecrated or desecrated ground but there are specific things that that power does you can't just say it detects good and evil because that's not what it does it does other things yeah there's a spell yeah for detect it. good and evil, good and evil. Is, is, a, is a spell it also doesn't detect good or evil it just detects outsiders uh, <laughs> I just thought I saw that in a literal sense oh you can detect its own evil like okay no that's my bad then Okay, sorry. That's why you gotta you gotta have the documentation copied and pasted into every ability that you have. You can't just throw a description on there and have it be good. I need the mechanics. There we go. There we go. Okay. As an action, you can open your awareness to detect such forces until the end of the next turn. You know the location of any celestial fiend or undead within sixty feet that is not behind total cover. You know the type. Of any being whose presence you sense, but not its identity within the same radiance. You also detect the presence of any place or object that has been consecrated or desecrated, as with the hollow spell. Sounds good. Okay. That is a more accurate description of what that does. So, yes, it also does allow you to smell shit, but also it allows you to detect certain creatures, and that's what we're looking for here. So, if you want to do that, go for it. Okay, I'm going to try it. Just let me know, let me know when and where you ping it. Uh, I'm gonna ping it around us. Okay. So, everywhere around. Um, okay. other than other than Moyle, nothing else pings. Oh. Okay. Um, Moyle definitely smells like, like, uh, burnt charcoal, mixed with some kind of acrid, other smell that's unfamiliar to you. Um, that denotes him as a fiend. Uh, but other than that, nothing else would pop up. Smells like bubblegum. You have to fix that. Quickly, Master, send me back to hell so I can bathe in the blood of my enemies real quick. I don't want to smell like watermelon. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait! You see what? Brian just open his eyes from like where he's laying down at bed with like what? You just see hers look at him like 
What? <laughs> uh, fine. Uh, well, I'll watch Spud over anyway. Uh, I'll summon you back before I go to sleep. It's a lot like this. As you wish, Master. Chance just snaps his fingers and... Okay. We'll just pretend he's not there for now. Yeah. Oh. I'll, I'll, I'll re-summon uh, him before I go to sleep. Here, I'll do this. I'm... Mm, I'm gonna take a long rest and keep my ear out athlete for any scream of terror. Okay. Well, let's do second watch. Whoever's on second watch, go ahead and make your, uh... Make your perception check, please. Oh, God damn it! Both I... of you who are on second watch? Uh, I... I just... Eh, have the ability just to be aware. During my last. Okay. Probably not. I'm not sure how the Elvis trance works, but okay. No, the trance... You're, you're out for four hours. It hasn't been that long. So yeah, you're, hey, hey, just, you're, you're, you're either sleeping. trancing or you're sleeping, or you're aware. One of the two. It, it isn't like uh, the Warforged thing. Warforged has a thing where they're, they're literally just aware. Ah. Uh, yeah. My bad. I guess I'm trancing. But, like, we're not trying to be a dicks here, for the record. It is. It's, well, we got to know what your character does. Specifics are important. Um, I'm pretty sure he still doesn't have trance. He doesn't he have trance. Lives. You don't have trance on your sheet, so you're not trancing right now. You're just going to sleep for eight hours until you figure that shit out. Yes. Loud um, lions. Whoever, who was the other one? I don't know. 17? Okay. Um, uh, Ayanra, down the hallway, you do hear the sound um, of uh, the, a lock uh, unlocking, a door opening, shutting, and then locking again. Eventually. I'll take note of it, but it's not coming toward us, so I ain't gonna do shit. Okay. Oh no, the baby's away. Rest of your watch is fine. Nothing else happens. Uh, is there a third watch, or are you staying up? I mean, who hasn't taken a watch yet? The lion and the elf. I'll poke the lion. Say, hey, can you take a watch? Uh, he's deafened and muted. I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna poke the elf. Hey, can you take a third watch? Sure. Yeah, you can go. Okay. Perception check. Whenever you're ready. There it goes. Seven. Cool. Um, I'm getting shivers. <laughs> so, um... Uh, you don't really notice anything specifically during your watch. Um, everything else is quiet from here on out. Um, and if anyone else is taking other watches, it'll be the same thing. Quiet until basically morning. It's kind of weird when you do wake up, though. Um, since you are underground, there's not really, uh, sunlight or starlight, per se. So, um... Just keep that in mind. You guys wake up and you're like, it's really, it's actually still dark in here. What the fuck? But you do awake. Day is yours. What do you want to do? Well, uh, shit, I don't. Well, uh, I believe the plan was that in the morning was to go back to go back to camp and report in. Yeah, it's been gone for you guys. Because while uh, Devonta did send a hawk, 
we did say that we were going to head back the next morning. Uh-huh. So, do we need to step out? Yeah, I don't know what you guys are doing. Well, yeah, I think we're going to head back to camp and then we're going to report into our various bosses about what we found. Okay. Well, I don't want to play out with both my outside. Uh, in the morning when everybody's up, I did tell every, uh, to the groups that I heard somebody, not nobody coming near us, but some, uh, you know, they were locking and unlocking. And that's probably the notable thing I noticed. Well, that's not exactly strange. Bedroom doors, you know, just the, the door, the buildings here, just even the rooms are often locked in the present bedchambers here. Yeah, but I still thought, you know, it's something worthy of the you know, Uh, Okay. So, as you awaken, you are still in the room here, gathering up your stuff. I'm just going to send Tavanta to go and do that ahead of you guys. He's going to get a head start so that I don't have to fuck with him on the map. The rest is up to you. I suppose we should go talk to the Elder after sending off the message? Yes. Oh. Well, I mean, saying that the message wasn't the plan. The plan was like us to actually, you know, go back. Well, oh, okay. Yep. You still have not moved from the bedroom. <laughs> it's still standing around. I'm just breaking out open, uh, you know, uh, ration pad. Yep. And just, um... Uh, so we're able oh, to just walk on through and stop this. Not the one uh, they gave <laughs> us to, the one that I gave us. It looks like he just gives you a wave and continues no, to listen. Or did you, did you already move Moyle's token to the door? Uh, Moyle's token is on the GM layer. If you want him around, then I can do that. Yeah, because I said I was going to resummon him before I went to sleep. Okay, I only de- I only de I only de, I only de, I only de him briefly. <laughs> alright, 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 okay. So yeah, I mean, the guy tending to the plants just doesn't really say a word to you guys, just kind of waves at you and continues trimming. Um, Actually, as we're passing, does anything look off about him, out of curiosity? Um, make an insight check. I'm not good at these, I have a minus two to wisdom! Um, what, in, in terms of off, nothing except that he hasn't really said a word to you the whole time. It's the same guy from last night who was watering the plants. Um, this time, as you're going through, he's clipping off um, leaves from some of the vines and putting them into a small pouch at his hip. Leaves from the vine. No, fuck oh, you. No, God. no. <laughs> I don't want to cry. No. No, stop. Cease. Well, that's too damn bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Leaves from the vines. A fucking tearjerker, mate. Um, moving onward, you are standing in the middle of a hallway. If you want your characters to see things, you need to move them around, by the way, in case that wasn't clear. Because certain things about this place change depending on what time of day it is and where you go. Yeah, anyone? Is there people still bathing? Is there people bathing in here still? Uh, no, actually, I'm going to move these guys over here. So the other two are gone for now. No one else uh, is in no, that pool room. No, that's better lid. What does it look like the pool? Is there anything wrong with it? Like they said, they're watching off markings. I don't know if the thing was entirely washed out. No, I mean there's a small drain um, toward where the waterfall lands uh, from outside, from where the stream leads into this place. Um, it hey, just kind of just somebody. keeps itself at a perpetually filled area. Can I examine um, the drain? See if anything has got caught there that might be clue. I do have an investigation. Yeah, sure. Go for it. Guys, what I miss? Uh, not much. Uh, Nothing. Really. 
Okay. Definitely nothing important happened at all. Uh, uh, Fifteen. Cool. Um, no, nothing's really caught in the drain per se. Um, whatever residue is being washed off of those people are gone now. It just looks like a, a pool of clean water, uh, spring water from outside, basically. Go past this area. There's a uh, still candlelit book table on the side there. Um, yeah, looking will, inside. Is there anything visible on the book that like, sticks out to me? Like a glance over at it. Sure. Um, there is a visible writing in the book, however, it's not a language that you recognize. Yeah, I tend to read it. What languages do you know? Common, Dwarven, and Elvish. No, you don't know anything about this uh, reading. <clears throat> I, and it's not me because I only read I can speak a common and infernal mm -hmm. it's in a script um, in a script that none of you really recognize either it's not like it's not like you know how it, like giant has a basis in you know another language or dwarvish has a basis in giant or whatever like you can tell kind of what language it is by the, the symbols at the very least kind of like how we can tell what Russian is but we can't read it um, yeah, it's it's like that feeling, but this is a language that you you wouldn't you wouldn't even know the scripture for this language. It's completely and utterly foreign to all of you. You don't you have no inkling of where, where this even might originate from. Ah, oh, fuck! I oh, that's something for next session because I forgot to. I should have two more languages. I fucking forgot about because I had to query and I've never played that before. See, I gave you everything about your background. That's your fault. <laughs> yeah, hey, 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 I'm not deflecting the plan. I'm literally just saying that I, I did a dumb. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Uh, at the table, you can you do uh, actually see the elder from uh, last night sitting at the table reading a, reading a book um, and eating um, a small bowl of porridge. Looks up. Oh, you've awakened. Excellent. Yeah, didn't really get a good night's sleep. Oh, I'm sorry what to hear that. What are you guys that? talking about? I slept like a, like a baby. Did you? Because you are a baby. Oh. <laughs> and I said that in character. Sick burn, yo. Oh my god, please no. <laughs> <laughs> please, well, please, god no. God no. I'm, I'm gonna forget the last five seconds just existed. Puts on a backwards baseball cap. Cease. <laughs> I'm fucking I, I have a reaction image specifically for this kind of fuckery pulls out a can of monster and chugs it real quick okay um well uh, sure since you it. since you are up um if you uh, there was I believe discussions to be made of some kind Yes. yes, we were wondering if we could come, if you would like to come with us to meet with our captain. Oh, yes, of course. Um, I, I feel that sure. I mean, I see no reason why not. Um, um, allow me to, I should probably grab the others as well. Allow us to introduce uh, ourselves. Uh, I have a question, if you don't mind me asking. Of course. What was that stream last night that we heard? We'll scream. Oh my god, you... No, I heard uh, nothing. No, just... uh, probably just something in the wind. Oh, also, that, that was an in-character whisper whisp under his breath, like, oh my god, you fucking... I was probably just hearing things, you know. You hear him, you see him, like, he's, he's frowning and his brow furrows a little bit, like, I haven't heard anything at all. I mean... Could have been a yeah, trick of the wind, but I, that seems kind of far fetched underground. You know, I mean, I, I was perhaps you were things. tired. Perhaps you were just tired yeah, after probably. your long day. It seems like that was the case at all. Um, either way, uh, we should get going. I let me grab the others. Uh, lead us out to your crash site, campsite, ship, anything. And uh, who's, he, uh, the, who's the one who's? Uh, it was. It was, uh, who was it that said the, that mentioned the scream? It was fucking Tyler, right? If I remember wrong? Or yes. Yeah. Okay. The demon. I, 
We'll beat him up later. Like the 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 second that you are out of the second the elder out of your shot, I am putting my hand on Scott's shoulder. You are a fucking idiot. You're right. Because now, if there was something wrong, they know we know now. You gave away our only advantage here. I if things go wrong, know. if things go wrong here, it's on your head. I just looked at him in size and just said, "It's too early in the morning for this." Is there coffee, tea, something? Also, I have my reaction image to the fuckery that happened earlier. It took me a second to find it. <laughs> Please let it be a, a screen cap of regular show. No, just a meme of defenestrate, which is hilarious because it's a it, it's a thing I I would say to my friends where I will defenestrate you, and then this card was fucking released in the new set. All right, um, the elder and uh, <clears throat> the two two from last night, Jork and Manfred, come into the room. Um, alrighty. Well, um, if you'll allow us to, uh, we'll go ahead and pack, get everything set up. Um, why don't you take a moment to have some breakfast here at the dining table, and we'll meet you back here shortly. Oh, that'd be quite nice. Nice. Then go off behind you, turn around the corner, and enter that locked room at the end of the hallway. Uh... Uh, when they open up, can I roll perception and see if I see anything or hear anything? You are nowhere near that door. You got to move closer in order to do that. Uh, I was gonna move like right here. Is that, or like, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, again, nowhere I near the door. Uh, their door. Uh, the what door I'm talking about is the one across the way from the pool, not the other one to the south. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Yeah, Thought I meant uh, this door. No, the other door. With the food, I'm gonna say, Moyle, try it first. If you wish, Master. Goes over and dips a claw into the, I guess, the porridge and eats it. Mm. Could use some cinnamon. Other than that, I, I mean, it's typical mortal food. Not my taste. I'd prefer it to be a little bit more raw. But so you'd rather eat oats? Just straight oats? Or are you a horse? I... You have no idea what I'm capable of, Master. Fair enough, I just... Don't offer to have a joke at your expense. Let me have this. As you wish, Master. He hands you the bowl of bland-ass porridge that's been laid out. To be fair, I was more just wanting to make sure it's not poisoned. Yeah, it's not. You're fine. Can he even be poisoned? Yes. He can. Yeah. That's why I was having it be a taster, because even if he dies from it, I can just resummon him. Turns out it was like uh, something like purple rum poison. Mm -hmm. and, and also, like, I I think Chance and Moyle both know that Chance knows exactly what he was referring to with the more raw. He was just making a joke. Yes. Um, let me see. Right, yes. Um, so, Master, uh, I... No, this is not poisoned at all. If you, this is really your last chance to have me explore things before we go and bring all of your friends to this place. Shall I go exploring? Yeah, have a look around. Try not to cause a fuss. Very well, master. You direct him where to go. You're in charge. Yeah. Since the more important people went that back that way I'm gonna have them kind of creep over and try and listen into the door okay roll me um, stealth check first and then roll me perception check uh, I assume that our resident ranger doesn't or I think ranger he does give him a pass without trace no, so star cow star cow is nowhere to be found right now he's gone so pass without trace is not a thing oh it was star cow that cast that I thought that was someone else nope it's druid thing Gotcha. Okay. Uh, 
Of course, I roll fucking poorly when it's actually important. Mm-hmm. And then also uh, uh, perception as well. There you go. A nine twice. Are you looking through his senses, or are you just going to have him report back to you? Um, I'm keying in on his senses just in case. Okay. So you're blind and deaf to everything else happening in that room. Um, so uh, you can hear, um, at the end of the hallway, you can hear Moyle approach, and then you can hear it, see him like push his head up to the door. Um, you're here on the other side. I, I mean, they don't seem to suspect anything. My deflection worked, but... I mean, if they wish to meet the lady, all they had to do was ask. They don't have to go snooping around in the middle of the night. I don't trust these people. Uh, and you hear another voice come. No, I don't. I don't really trust them either, Elder. But they don't have any ill will toward us. Perhaps they can be introduced to the lady in time. It doesn't need to happen right away. Yes, I suppose you're right, Yorick. Um, perhaps in time, and maybe others will follow. Who knows? I come back more. Uh, okay. So Moyle comes back to you. Uh, uh, seems a bit of our concerns were founded, though. I must wonder what the scream has to do with the, the lady. Is there anything? Can I roll is... to see it? Uh, religion, see if I know anything about a lady of any kind. I mean, sure. Yeah, I, I, can I maybe make one say there's anything in regards to, like, his history regarding, like, a screaming woman, like, a, a, scre- a significant figure that's known for screaming in terror? <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah, go for it. Hey, natural twin. I, I, I'm grasping I, I'm <laughs> at straws here. Um, uh, religion, my friend. Oh, wait, history, uh, sorry. You were trying to remember something. Oh, that, that, that was the wrong still, is it? That's history. Yeah, history, it's, history. Yeah, same. Can yeah, I same. give him guidance? Sure. Yeah, let's, uh, okay. uh, you want me to roll, you want me has, to roll again? He, well, you haven't rolled the right thing yet, so yes. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, go ahead and roll with guidance, if you have it. You get a guidance, you get a guidance, everybody gets a guidance. My discard is freezing. That's better. Um... Oh, oh. Screaming woman, religiously, not really a theme, uh, unless you're talking about, um, uh, oh, wait, I'm, no, just no, like, no, I'm, no. To, I'm just trying to recall if there's anything that is remotely similar to this. Like, I'm um, not looking for, like, concrete, I'm looking for, like, something. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm looking through my that. list of gods here to see if there's anything that works. Um, so, I mean, there is, um, in terms of screaming woman specifically, there is um, Loviatar and Shar, both of them, uh, goddess of pain and the goddess of darkness and loss, could be associated with that kind of thing. People scream and they lose stuff, <laughs> um, end when they're in pain, or if they're terrified of the dark. I mean, that's basically it. Specifically, though, it's not really like a trait of their um, domain that they are a screaming woman all the time. Um, in terms of like religious matters, uh, th- it's not really a common. It's not a- among any of the common things, or, or even the older gods that rings too much of a bell. It's it's really a stretch to say that. All right, uh, is there history uh, check twenty five? Like history check yeah. twenty five specifically. Um, there is there is mention of that kind of thing happening. Yes, of course, it's not a god though. Let's see. Um, Something that happens um, when a bride, uh, either a bride loses her husband or um, experiences some kind of loss and then kills themselves, they turn into a banshee. Sounds very familiar. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, now, is, is there anything that would cause a banshee to get like this kind of cult following? Can I mean, do my religion check? Uh, what? Uh, uh, anything. I think no, I, mean, I can do make my religion. religion. Uh, look, it, if if you're okay. putting two and two together here, and these people really do worship a banshee, you have no fucking clue why. 
Banshees are not lower deities, they're not gods. It makes no sense to you. I have a question I want to put on you. Looking at our group S's, what do you think our odds are about we might get fed to a banshee later on today? Hmm. In interesting right, question, no. Buster. Uh, um, I, mm, I mean, there are so many untold factors. It seems like they're willing to let you go, so if you wanted to walk out of this place, you certainly can. They've not, they've not yeah. shown any ill will toward us or our party. I assume they're not trying to kill us, or they would have tried it last night. Well, that's just my opinion. I mean... It seems like they're trying to spam. You know what? I'm going to start talking Infernal. It's like, okay, I understand what you're saying, but at the same time, what if, you know, they already had sacrifice lined up? That's why I didn't bother. I'm assuming the two de uh, de uh, devils, you know. Yeah, we know in front. We know what you're saying, but we're asking. But we're just thinking, like, wh why are you talking like that, like motherfucker? Like... No, no, infernal either. Oh, you're trying to avoid. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, chance to respond in kind. I don't know, and that's what concerns me, as far as I'm a like, like from what I can, like, gun to my uh, crossbow to my head. I would say that. That this lady is it? That this lady that they're worshiping is a banshee, and worshiping a banshee, I don't exactly know what to do with that kind of information. Well, I think for now we should just eat breakfast. Yeah, we'll eat and keep things going. Okay. Um, after not too long, in the middle of you guys eating, the elder and this posse return. I'm just gonna put them down here because it's easier to fuck around with them. Oh god, I fucking stole the candle too. God damn it. So I'm gonna put this back. <laughs> I put a candle like in this other room and like <laughs> it came with me when I click and drag. Alright, um. Okay. Uh, so they come back. We're nowhere near themselves. Well, um, uh, we'll be in the front lobby waiting for you. Whenever you're ready, please come and let us know. It will take off. I. Could you, on, I'm, actually, I'm gonna go, go with the elder, and on the way, I like to ask him. Like, can you tell me about the lady? I am, you know, curious about her in general. Of course, I'd love to answer your questions. Uh, give me a second to organize myself in the proper manner, so I'm not walking like a crab sideways. There we go. Um, go over, <laughs> put yourself in the front foyer with them. I'm gonna move this guy up here. So it's back down here, all the way up to here, and then there. But... Wait, who said that? Was it Skylar or Pretty Boy? God, that name's gonna stick, isn't it? Just so he is alone. Oh, my bad. Never mind. Uh, okay, put you guys up there. Cool. Well, um. In, uh, myself and the other elders here in this place. Uh, were not exactly looked upon kindly where we come from. To be honest, I have a bit of a checkered past with the law of this land. And I was escaping from those that might see me incarcerated. Not a fact that I'm proud of, by the way. It's not who I am anymore, but it, life is as it is. I stumbled upon this place, and so did my fellow compatriots, me... Uh, hid here for a time um, without being accosted and discovered this uh, area explored it and stayed a few nights here and during that time we were visited by the lady who promised us salvation and promised us uh, freedom and uh, protection from incarceration emancipation from all this 
things that we were running from, and of course we took it. Of course, she's beautiful. She's kind and caring. We absolutely adored her. And so we started heeding her wishes. She provided us these things, and we decided that we would help her in return. So when we asked, she merely said to bring people to her so that she may shelter them as well. Those who are lost and broken, uh, on the run, looking for redemption, those people who needed our help, we brought in. It's been a small community so far. But we've done well for ourselves. She taught us how to grow plants without sunlight. She taught us, uh, uh, some of us, how to uh, use certain gifts to our advantage. Um, and she also taught us how to run the observatory we have here. And um, here we are. Observatory? Oh, yes. Uh, we do have... This place is an old elven ruin. Uh, a long time ago, from before the breaking. We've co-opted it for now, but uh, there is a portion of it that was preserved that functions as an observatory. Um, a place where one can look across vast distances and into, uh, into other places that are not necessarily nearby. Uh, requires quite a bit of magic to work it, but uh, we've been taught to do so with help. So, okay, um, hmm. sorry, train of thought left. Them. So, she just asked, she just asked people to you bring her to them. That's it. Yes, that's all she's asked of us. For now, I don't have any other questions. Um, if you come up with any more, I'd be happy to answer them for you. Um, but we should get moving soon if we want to make it back here in a reasonable enough time. If you have as many as you say, then uh, perhaps we should uh, get moving soon. Organizing that amount of people can be a lot. Yeah, by that time, I'm kind of just rifling my way in. You know, finish. Okay. So yeah, just, once we finish the food, we're gonna you know, call them out. Okay. Well, I have a black. question uh, for about the lady, if you don't mind me asking. Of course. Does she have a particular form that she prefers? Um, she appears to each of us in a different way. Um, in many cases, though, she is a young, beautiful elven woman with flowing uh, white hair and a crown upon her head, uh, usually in a pale dress, uh, and astonishing bright blue eyes. That's, really, they are mesmerizing. Uh, we don't, uh, she comes around every now and then, uh, manifests herself and walks these halls when she wishes. In many cases, she doesn't speak to us very often. She really only speaks to me and my fellow elders um, when it's when it suits her. Of course, we understand she's kind and gentle spirit, but she she is a spirit. She has other things to attend to. We are mere mortals in her presence. The fact that she even deigns to speak to us at all is a blessing. But what, I mean, why does she help you? As I said, she's she's a kind soul. She does it out of generosity. Can I inside that? Sure. 
Um, oh, not... oh, oh, like, things like that. Yeah, everyone's just there with him. Nice. Look at all those fucking natural 20s, bro. Like, this is great. No, no. A woman with a crown. Question. Does it seem like she might be some kind of monarch from, like, I'm going to make it, if I can make a hazard check right quick, just give me a second for roll 20 to could be um, a butt. Like, by description, it could mean like, a lot of things. You're gonna have to get like a you're gonna have to get like a really high score to get anything specific. Well, my thought was like there's like what was the elven royal was there any elven royalty that I had? Given what you told me about how you could make a banshee, like a elven woman with a well, a woman that had their husband die or they die in a terrible ass way, the king will become a banshee. Is there anything like that could line up in any kind of elven royalty that have pre raking? Probably. Uh -huh. Like uh, I'm trying to narrow down the search there, trying to make it a little bit more easy to figure out with a history roll. Okay. I mean, you gotta you gotta make the roll first. I, I, I can't do anything. <laughs> uh, oh, that's twenty-two. That's the other thing. Okay, so insight. Yeah, this guy absolutely believes that he's that the lady does this out of generosity. That he's that she's really helping kind souls. That she's guiding them toward a better life, etc., etc., etc. Um, 22 plus 5 history check there's not a whole lot that people know about the world before the breaking in terms of specific things you know that there were kingdoms there were uh, rulers of said kingdoms there were different governments around the world many different people all over the place it's, it's there's not one specific instance where this was like some powerful queen from long ago. Like, no, it, it, there's no, there's like a million people like that. So it could be anything. You don't even know which part of the world this shard was, right? So determining anything specific is going to be nigh on, nigh on impossible. Um, I mean, you, you would have to see, you would have to see the visage of this person to gain anything about their appearance or culture by what they look like just by description alone and by what i've given you there's not enough to go on not even close i mean clearly it's from australia part of the area because you know they're worshiping love <laughs> from australia <laughs> you know australia. you know what i you know the map of this place does look a lot like australia and it is in the bottom right corner of it so <laughs> Yeah, we're Australians. <laughs> Fucking, I, literally, you literally, I put you in in Australia, except it's Germany, Australia, not Australia, Australia. Oh man, I wanted to fight a giant bug. Nah, not yet. Damn it. Maybe later. Anyway, um, so I'm assuming you guys all go walk with the elder through the woods that kind of thing yeah yeah okay um yeah it's not it's not too far of a walk honestly and with a big party like yourself not a lot of things are going to bug you so eventually you arrive at the hill and the elder goes oh, is, it, is it beyond this hill how much further do we have to go um uh, I, I i think that is uh, is, the the hill, hill, uh, is he pointing at our ship he, he can't see. The, the illusion of the gigantic hill covers everything. He can't see anything. He, as far as he knows, you're standing at a, at a big-ass rocky outcropping in the middle of the forest. Like, and it's, this it's hiding why, everything. And this is why I left a marker with a visible ink, which I assume I can spot. Yeah. I mean, you, you know where this place is. Um, and it, you, know, <laughs> you know that it's very distinctive. Like, it, the rest of the world around you in this area is all mostly forest. This is a, it's a big old rocky outcropping that doesn't, it doesn't quite break the top of the trees so that people can't look on it from afar and be like, that wasn't there before. But it's covering a lot of ground, and it's enough to hide uh, you from prying eyes. Uh, it's this way, come on, follow me. And I, I'm going to just walk right past the marker, kind of letting the magic flare up to make it visible, then it disappears. You yeah. might want to close your eyes um, first time you're through this. Yeah, we've been told it's disorienting. Well, I mean, a chance, a chance walking through the mountain goes, Okay, that's wow. Okay, um, interesting. And he well, like I said, we kept walks. On telling you we were from the moon. Well, he he picks up his walking stick and cautiously like pokes through the illusion and feels out for things on the other side before stepping through. I also walk in. I walk. 
I heed my own damn advice. Close my eyes on what, as I'm walking through. Okay. Um, yeah, walking to the other side, the um, the ruins of the ship are there. The fires have all been put out. Um, many people are um, walking around, uh, gathering supplies from the ship, uh, taking anything that they can find. They're basically di- like scavenging from the ship, trying to just recover any resources they can. They've begun building... Um, stockpiles of various goods. The quartermaster is writing things down in a, in a very large uh, book uh, as keeping track of basically everything that's going on. The wizard tower still there um, uh, in the, in the, off to the side. Um, and basically just people are getting busy. They're just trying to, you know, salvage what they can from what happened last night. Moyle, if you don't mind, uh, go let Master tell them now that we've returned. Yes, Master, I shall do so. If you need me, I will be in the tower. He begins to walk off toward the wizard tower in the distance. The elder, you can see, is staring, looking at this thing like, Why, I have never seen an airship quite like this. Uh, Where are you from? We told you, but you didn't believe us. We told you, 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 you five fucking us. times. <laughs> I suppose that's my fault, then. I apologize for not believing you before, but it seems so far-fetched. So you really have no idea what's going on down here. Yeah, no, no, we get it. I mean, to be fair, if we were in your shoe, I don't think I would have believed it either. I were actually flabbergasted that you guys are still alive down here. I thank the gods for that, but this is... This is bigger than me. I, my goodness. He's just like kind of sitting there, like in awe, just watching people walk back and forth. Like, I never knew. I never knew. When we first uh, were starting to get ready to come down, uh, we were expecting to arrive to a barren wasteland and have to quite literally rebuild the world from scratch. I can, I can assure you, the rest of the world is much, much different than uh, than that. Um, all right. Very well. I can see that there's some interesting things going to happen in the next few minutes or so. I shall wait to contact with your captain, or... No, no, we don't have to wait. Let's go. We need to report it anyway. Supreme Leader Invasion Force? Okay. (laughs) Moving on. (laughs) Wait for that, so... It's like, he was expecting, like... He was expecting, like, maybe, like, 50 people. <laughs> but, like, 120 people essentially constructing a village on just, like, two miles away from him with a powerful archmage clearly throwing illusions around and building towers that he wasn't aware of. This is a lot more than what he bargained for, for sure. I mean, I, I, I told him 80... I, I told him, like... We you were transparent, 80. but everything is so fucking far-fetched that he just did not believe you. Not even close. Like, 80 people were dead. Yeah, it's. Like a, I mean, you know, if you show up at someone's cave and you're like, "I'm from the moon," it's like, "Well, are you though?" <laughs> like, like, all right, sure you are, buddy. You need some. You need some rest. You need to go to sleep. That's, that's why we eat a fucking Snickers rub- bar or something. Like, come on. <laughs> that's why we are. <laughs> yeah, literally. That's why we're rubbing in the elders' face. Like, elders' face. Like, we told you the truth from the beginning. You lost your uh, your schizophrenia medication, old man. Like, I just, I think we should help you out here. Um, so anyway. The, Eventually, Moyle returns, um, followed closely by the Archmage. Right. Hey, we might as well get this talk over with while with the guard captain so you guys don't have to do it twice. Hello, uh, I've been brought to you to discuss, um, an elder of some sort who's lived here before. Greetings! I am Master Teldenar. Uh, Master Talpana, sir? Mm hmm. Maybe we should do the old introduction after we are with the card captain so we just get it done with it in one go. Uh, well, I mean, we don't want, I don't want to waste your time, you know what I mean? Not waste your time. You've accomplished your task remarkably. I will have a chat with the Elder in my tower. Uh, if you don't mind, you may peruse. There's still plenty of work to do. Make yourselves useful. I'll have a talk with him over here. Um, you three, follow me, please. Thank you. Gestures to the elder and uh, the two other people that he brought with him. And they start walking uh, toward the tower. 
Uh, just a warning. If you piss him off, he will not hesitate to burn you. I do ground. I'm not joking. Don't be hostile to our guests here. We prefer the diplomatic approach. Thank you. Bye. I'm, I'm, I wasn't being <laughs> hostile. I'm telling them the truth. And they're out of your shot. They're gone. <laughs> they're gone. Um, so they walk. They basically walk off toward the uh, toward the tower and disappear inside. You th five six are left to do as you please. I'm just guess I'm gonna start helping out people building stuff or they need anything helping them out. I'm gonna do the same, but I'm gonna pick and choose whoever is the most good looking, whether female or male. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna help my family build a house. Okay. Sounds good. Um, returning to your families, helping them build. Um, it takes a few hours of doing this before um, eventually the uh, group of you are um, approached by uh, um, a, a young a young man, red hair, uh, wearing uh, initiate's uh, wizard robes. It says, uh, Master Teldenar would like to see you in the tower, please. We're here to, uh, he would like to discuss uh, future ongoing expeditions with you as well as um, uh, certain things about the Elder. Uh, you may join him in the next 20 minutes or so. Please don't take your time. Thank you. And he uh, also, dips yeah, off into just, the crowd. Uh, also, uh, how long between then and now? Like between when we like first break three off hours. and we get met? Three hours. Uh, I, I guess that I'm gonna go... Uh, during those three hours, tower. During okay, those three hours, doing? could I have uh, spent some time to kind of catalog the findings that I found and like, hey, look, this this is the details I found, and I'm also trying to see if I can corroborate some of what I was seeing in the uh, ruins with what I was with some of our records. See if there's anything that kind of correlates. Okay, I mean, it's three hours is not. A whole lot of time to do any of that. You'd have to dig through a lot of books, and not a lot of it's uh, survived the fire. Um, there is a, um, uh, you know what? I'll have you do this. Go ahead and make an investigation check for me. You'll see what you can find. Nineteen. Okay. Um, knowing that the the runes are elven helps a lot. Um, you go toward um, you know books about ancient. Mind immediately goes to like books about ancient. Elvish script, text, um, culture, and religion, and all that fun stuff. Um, there, uh, you know that uh, elves in the world before the breaking were spread out. Um, they didn't really have kingdoms per se. They more or less had um, settlements where they would just kind of hang out, do whatever they did. Um, they kept uh, fairly isolated from the rest of society for a long, long time, um, and they had a reputation for being like mysterious and unknown, frightening almost, because they wielded magic typically that people were not, like, necessarily privy to unless they were higher up there in the chain of wizards or whatever, whatever from wherever they were. Um, so el elves were, like, kind of like a... They were, like, you know, d almost a tribal society, but more advanced than that. Like, think, um... Fuck, what were they called? The Aliads from Elder Scrolls? Ah, fuck gotcha. Kind of, kind of think like that, it, except less like racism and, and death and destruction and invading, more like just leave us the fuck alone. We're just going to be isolationists in different corners of the world, and you can do uh, whatever you want with the rest of it. We don't care. The races. What? And uh, less enslaving the rest of the race. Yeah, no, they weren't. They were very like non comfort They just wanted to be left the fuck alone, and it, for the most part, people did that. Like sometimes they would, you know, stop at an elven settlement to ask for trade or whatever, but they didn't really. They weren't really accepted into society, didn't really live with them. They were very much isolationist and apart from everyone else. All right. Um, so that's what you find out about the society. Specifically concerning the runes, uh, the symbols, um, a lot of them were having to do with, um, uh, like, uh, I, I guess the easiest way to do it would be like a good luck charm. It's basically like you would carve these into stones or trees or whatever, and it would bring about certain things that you hoped would happen. 
Um, the symbols themselves are very much up to interpretation in terms of like what they actually meant, but there's not a whole lot that you can glean from it other than what the pictures look like themselves. Like you can you can assume the one that looks like a tree is probably for like growing trees or something like that. Like it has something to do with a tree, but certain other ones that are more esoteric than that, you don't really have a, a meaning from that at all. All right. Uh, did the tribe different like groups of elves have different like dialects that I can kind of try and use to geolocate where we actually are? <laughs> No, not really. It was, the records. It's all under the blanket of Elvish. Um, I mean, they would have maybe ah. different accents, but elves speak Elvish, and they speak Elvish for reasons, because it's Elvish. Yeah, fair. I was oh. hoping if, like, if I could use the ruins that we found, that yeah. these people live in and try and figure out yeah. where on the world we are. We're not talking like Sindarin versus Quenya. Like, it's not a thing like that. It's just Elvish is Elvish. Fucking meme with the guy, you know, Mr. Incredible and the fucking thing. Math is math. Elvish is Elvish. It's, that's all it is. All right. Yes. Uh, this, 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 still that step gets us further along than what we thought. Okay, um, so those of you who head to the tower, eventually knock on the door, yeah. opens up, go upstairs. Um, the elder, it seems, has already departed, left you, um, uh, back to wherever he's from, presumably. Um, uh, in the meantime, uh, Master Teldar and what's his face? Uh, fucking thing here hold on uh taldenar that's what his name was <clears throat> master taldenar sitting there um kind of uh leaning forward in his armchair at the top of the observatory um his hands are like kind of weaved uh -huh. into him into each other and, and poised in front of his face as if he's like deep in thought um and as you enter in he says good it didn't take too long um come and sit down please i have a lot to discuss Okay. Well, sit down So, it seems the world is a little bit more advanced than I thought it would be. Not, uh, not really a tribal society. After all, I was not expecting this level, um, but apparently we are on, um, we are on uh, one of the shards called Onik. And, uh, there's a lot of people that lived here. One of the greatest empires in the world that they know about, actually. So, this is ah. going to be interesting. Um, I've convinced the Elder that we are of no harm. I have also been convinced that they were not going to harm us. However, certain things worry me. Um, they now know of our presence, of course, and we know of theirs. But if what he's described to me is true, there's certainly quite a lot of very powerful people in this land that I can't all deal with on my own if we were discovered. So, with that being said, we have to be very careful who we trust with the location of our people, who we trust with how many our number is, what magics we wield, how many supplies we have. All of this needs to be kept very secret from now on. I was expecting us to be um, at least a match for, you know, tribes of people wandering around. And of course we are, given our wonderful captain of the guard and the collection of people we've brought on board. But against the entire army of this place, against many provinces, hundreds of thousands of people, perhaps millions, I don't know. I'm pretty sure we don't stand a chance if they all decided we are a threat to them. So, with that in mind, we don't know very much about this place. And knowledge is power. Mm. So. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Given that you've already proven yourselves in, in terms of uh, at least it dealing with things diplomatically as long as you can keep your lips shut a little tighter I would like for you to go and figure out what this place this world is and come back when you've found, found things that are worth talking about it, I again I will um, I'm going to sponsor this outing it costs a lot to have very powerful, very prolific people leaving us, but I have a way that we can 
justify that. Um, so, I have an item for you. He reaches into his pocket and, and his robes and pulls out, um, uh, looks to be a, a carved, I believe it's onyx. Give me a second, let me see if I can open it real quick. Can I have the item? Oh, is that a stone of sanding? No, no, it's better than that. Give me a second. Collections, my... Uh, if... Uh, there if it is. I may, okay. uh, give me a second. It is... Uh, da, 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 da. It is a... It's a chunk of, basically, a polished obsidian um, inset with uh, ten gemstones um, in a grid, kind of, in its face. Um, each one has a different arcane rune etched on the gemstone. Um, and uh, he hands it to one of you. Uh, let's give it to fucking... I don't know. Let's give it to the lion. Let's give it to Brion. It's a fault. So this uh, device will allow you to communicate with me across large distances at will. It's a very powerful item. Please don't lose it. It's very valuable. Um, uh, thank you. Okay. Um, you will use this to provide me with information on a regular basis as you go about your exploration. Uh, we still have not been provided with a map of this area, so first things first, um, it was mentioned, I believe, that there is an observatory in that elven ruin, elven place, where you found the, the elder and his people. I would like to see if we may grant, uh, grant ourselves access to it. Uh, if yeah. it is what I think it is, we can use it to figure out where in this world we are and what the closest, you know, settlement, peoples, anything is to us. Instead yeah, of about, roiling around in the dark like a bunch of chickens, the heads cut off. About that, uh, we weren't actually... Okay. There was a few things that was disturbing while we were staying over there. I didn't want to say it in front of the elder, obviously. That's why I was hoping to you would talk while, you know, with the presence of the card captain. But uh, they worshipped somebody called the Lady. And uh, while we were staying overnight, we are pretty sure one of us heard somebody uh, letting out a blood-curdling scream. Well, that is certainly worrying, yes. And did you find the source of this scream? Unfortunately, no, because none of us know how to, you know, pick a door. Well, actually, I have a rather powerful, a rather considerable theory, given what I've been told and what research I could do in the records once, I, once we returned. If I were to extrapolate from such research, I would say that... One, the lady that uh, those people seem to be worshipping right now uh, is a banshee that used to be a member of elven royalty. Now, that doesn't really do much given how wide a net that casts, but from the records I could find, it, the elvish in the ruin is extremely old. It, it was old before the breaking, quite frankly. And okay. unfortunately, it doesn't do much to tell us where we actually landed in regards to the records. If we, if we could do that, that would make things a lot easier. Mm, this is worrying. Okay, new plan. Um, still do the thing I said. Find a way to use the observatory. Um, just be prepared and be cautious. These people are... They're not... There show signs of fanaticism that worry me, um, knowing what I know about things and stuff. Oh, so you mean if there are fanatics, yeah, yes. If they do worship uh, this undead creature, banshee pe person, creature, I don't know. If they do worship her, she's not a god. She can be dealt with. And that means that she, most likely she's garnered a following. You know, nothing's really on the up and up here. Oh, uh, one more thing. Loth is a problem, uh, very wide worship here. This is worshipped on the moon, too. We just have to keep an eye out for her. You mean prominent in what way? Like, openly, wildly, 
openly worshipped. And, and how do you know this? That we know of. Well, uh, I'm, I'm going to kind of take out my book and I'm going to hand it over to him because I, I wrote down all the history bits the Elder told us. Okay, so what you're telling me is that Dark Elves worship Loth. I feel like that's no, no, no. pretty much everybody. Well, no, no not, that's not exactly. what that's not what it says here. It says that Loth is not a. Okay, just for clarification, because I said this in my my own words, Loth was worshipped by dark elves. Yes, but uh, well, also, I mean, you also implied it was worshipped by other non-dark elves as well. Yes, now, yeah. of... yes, but it's not like the major religion. I never said that. It's oh. not. I, I said nothing to lead you to believe that this was like a world religion of Loth. Now that the whole Spider Queen like runs the planet, like that's not what I said. Okay, that's I said the that impression Loth I was around. Said. Loth is around. There are people that worshipped her, and she used her magic to help people survive the calamity. Because what's a god without worshippers, right? But it's not like it's like people were not beholden to Loth, and they didn't have to follow her. They know that Loth is a. a fucking demon creature, god, whatever, goddess of spiders and darkness and evil and whatever. They don't follow her all the time. The people believe in their own gods. There's, no, there's nothing nothing that I said was was meant to make you believe that Loth was like this crazy, powerful influence on the world at this point. Yeah. For the record, I didn't say that I also thought it was a major religion. I just figured, hey, it's more prominent than it would be normally, it seems like. It is it is there in as much as the Dark Elves who did it before were there. It's like, right, it's 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 mainly an underground, like, underdark thing. Like, it's not a... It's not like she has churches above ground or anything like that. Like that's not a thing like that. I, I, fair enough, but you did kind of you did kind of imply it was a bit more prominent. It was. Yeah. Otherwise. They they went into the underdark, and the only deity down there that would be any kind of influence that would have the strength to give her people to save people from a calamity of that magnitude would be Loth. <laughs> it would be her. That's the reason why uh -huh. I brought it up is because she she did. Um, essentially the same thing the other gods did except that instead of saving uh the entire planet she's like let them waste all their energy i'm gonna save my people and everyone else that was down there was saved by proxy all right well we'll, we'll just chalk it up as miscommunication let that and let that that's yeah, yeah so keep that in mind i'm not i'm not saying that loth oh, is like this crazy or... powerful whatever she doesn't or... have churches she just no one's beholden to her like there's not a major religion about this thing it's just dark elves still worship loth in the way that they used to and loth was responsible for a lot of people surviving the calamity i, I got another idea just run with it <laughs> run with the misconception <laughs> and see how it goes <laughs> Well, the problem is, the, the problem is, Chance wrote down what he, the elder said. He already said. took the notes. Elder... He already took notes yeah. on this, and none of that, none of the notes he took would have had anything to do with that. So, um, yeah, no, it's not a major religion. Just to let you know, <laughs> it's not there. So, um, uh, she's as much of a problem as she probably would be on our home, in back on the moon. Just keep an eye out for it. I mean, try not to wind up in the underdark. I guess. Um, I would rather not end up. To be honest, I'm. To be honest, I'm more worried about the, the surrounding area that we know nothing about. That I have no idea what to look for. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we also have got a little bit of knowledge of the other. Some of some of the we got names about the shards from some of them, but I did as well. It appears that there's three main continental shards. And several other small islands in between, um, oh. as yet unnamed. We are on the one called Onik, and it's named for the the royal bloodline as well as the country. This is, as far as I could glean from the Elder, one of the largest collections of people. I guess you could call it a government on the planet, I, I guess. There are existence of other things, but he very limited in knowledge... He's lived here all his life, and he's lived a very, uh, say, strenuous existence. Uh, mm. You're not going to like, like like the next part I'm about to tell you. That was all that I'm I'm waiting for the arch uh, mage to sit down. He's already been he's been sitting this whole time. Oh right, I've been waiting for no reason. So. He and points at uh, Eidolon, and apparently knew that there was a people down here already. Okay. And, and? yeah, uh, 
but the, here's the thing. He said he could sense it still, something about between the planes. Yeah, he's oh, a creature no. from the Nine Hells. You, you do know this, right? Yeah. Okay, so he knows about it. But no, makes what? sense if he did. He That's knows, good. now we know. Yeah, no, but what I mean is maybe we could use what he did and try to make That's... some sort of a communication to back to the moon? I can't make him do anything. It's his master that has the control over that. And regardless, it's not how that works. If you're, uh, if you're thinking about using extra plane or travel to try and uh, get, a, get a line of communication back, uh, for the record, what you're, what you're implying is using a... It would be like using an arc to light a torch. No what now? It would be like using an arc, like the ship, to light a singular torch. That's the kind of leap from plane of travel is quite one, quite honestly one of the most terrifying ways of doing magic. Because slightest mistake, slightest miscalculation, and you're and you've scattered yourself in possible pieces to who knows where, for who knows what. Plane of travel is terrifying. To be able to pierce the veil in the way that you're suggesting would require a lot of powerful magic, a lot of protection, and uh, we don't have either at the moment. I have done what I can, but I'm, I'm very limited in my capabilities by myself, especially piercing through a cloud of roiling arcanite like, I, like we did with the ship. It was a one-time journey, and it nearly cost us an insurmountable debt. So, let's just put that to the side. Know that the summoner is in charge of his ward, whatever it's called, uh, and also know that it's not its not the full uh, totality of the creature itself that it's based off of. It's, it is an aspect. It knows only what it knows. And that is determined by unfortunately arbitrary magical means I'm afraid a summoner's Eidolon is not necessarily a good source of information while yeah. you're all describing all this my character looks like he's fucking confused like, okay. it looks like it just went over his head okay <sighs> it's easier if we don't just let it be just yeah. know that know that the Eidolon can't be used for more than its intended purpose which is protection the, the plane of travel idea, that's not the worst idea I've heard for this kind of problem, but the major issue is, like, aside from piercing the veil, uh, assuming you do get to another plane, you'd have to figure out how to get back on precisely the moon. Which is quite another problem entirely. Because once you go from one plane to another, rules change rapidly. So you can't just, like, you know, hop, just do, like, so you can't just go around the veil by going to hell and going on to the moon and back. You can. It's very dangerous, though. Not something to be tried. Lightly. But. That is a way you could have done it, yes, but the people that we've sent in the past to try and do that never came back, so not exactly something we're willing to try here. Especially not with me. Yeah. is. As unfortunate as that sounds to, uh, yeah, unfortunate as that might sound, you are the foremost mage in the world, so losing you would quite literally mean we would be boned. I'm not the foremost, I'm just very good at what I do. I'm practical, take, take the, and I'm good, at, I'm good at protecting people. That is what I was trained for, uh, brought up to believe, whatever you want to call it. I'm very good at doing that. But, against what I've been told, I won't last very long. I can keep us hidden, I can keep us safe, but only if eyes are not put toward us. There are certainly many things that can overwhelm me in this world, and they can do so easily, if they try. Uh, in regards to our little group, in regards to the expeditionary group that, well, landed here, you are the foremost mage, so... Yes, well... Thank you for that, but I, I'm nowhere close to where I need to be in order to defend from an entire nation or world of people. So, oh, of course. We're going to just go ahead and figure out where we stand first. Figure out how the hell we can uh, 
integrate ourselves into this world, what we can know uh, without, you know, having our people get swallowed up or disappear or declared war on, etc., etc., etc. We're going to go ahead and figure that out first, which is why I'm sending you, because you've already gone beyond what anyone else has. I believe in you. I just can't leave yet, because I have 120 people under my protection. Right. Sound good? Everyone on the same page? Um, yes. Excellent. Yes and no. Here's what I'm going to do. All you need to worry about right now, to avoid confusion, go back to the Elder. Get on his good side. Learn whatever you need to about his lady, whatever he's doing there. I need access to that observatory. No, I, I, I get what you're saying. It just... I'm, I'm not sure I'm cut out for this. I think I'll be more uh, helpful on the, you know, staying here, and I'm, my talents are at healing people. It's fine. You can certainly do that. It's just... If, if I'm going to send out a party of explorers, uh, scouting, uh, anything, I need people who can do that as well. I need people who can keep you safe, because otherwise... Things could go south very fast. We have healers here. We brought people who can do that. In fact, the injuries that can already be healed have been. We've been working through the night to get this done. The, most of them are resting at this point, but we are starting to recover a lot of things. As you've seen, the, uh, people are bustling, roaming around, and gathering supplies from the ship that were left there. We are going to be fine here. But only insofar as uh, we can stay within our means. And I need to know what dangers are out there so I know what to prepare for. And to do that, I need protection for the people who are going to find that out for me. Okay. Yeah. You can be their shield, be their sword, be whatever you want to. Just keep them safe. Keep each other safe. Think of yourselves like a, a family at this point. We're all in this together because we have to be. And yes. whatever allies we can make along the way, fantastic. Just make sure that you're very careful about who you tell and where you go and what is out there. Because I... I don't know. But we need to. Okay. Cool. So... I'm going to ponder the very existence of ourselves here on this planet, and what that means, you are going to go back to the Elder and uh, inform him of my request. See what we can do about that. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess, if you put it that way. Very well. Plus. Afterward, um, if you succeed through whatever means necessary, then come back here. I shall provide you with uh, some supplies for the road. Hopefully, we'll have a heading for you. We can get access to their their information as well. And I'll guess we'll just go uh, as we see it from there on. Um. So, who do they give the stone to? Uh, Lion, you said. Lion man. So, Brian. Um, just in your inventory, in the center of your page, toward the bottom, add a new entry for Icons Unlimited Sending Stone. Okay. I will spell it oh, on shit. Roll20 He's chat. giving us the good shit, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll send it to you in a minute. Um... Uh, okay. Let's see. Where are you, Brian? Message... There you go. And he's not here, so um, we'll just got to say that is a thing that you guys have. If anyone wants to take it from him, I'm sure he wouldn't mind because he's not here right now. You can learn more about it. Was just, I was just chance have it to do. He is the one who is taking all the notes and everything like that. As he's so do you want to give it to him? Yep. Okay. There you go. Hold on a second. 
Woo. I got magic swag. Yeah, go ahead and put that on your sheet when you got time for it. We got the uh, great power magic comes with great responsibility. So what you're saying is that we should call the should call the wizard dead of night. Damn straight when we are drunk. Certainly, you certainly can. <clears throat> drunk calling it, man. Damn. It's, it's oh, yeah. early on. They're already have an attunement slot done with. Fuck. Mm -hmm. I already have, I know. I only have one attunement slot left. Yeah. So I, I gave you the information specifically, but I mean, you can share it with whoever you want to. Depends on what you want to do. I I'm glad we're all on the same page about drunk calling Dark Mage. Mm -hmm. No. Alrighty. So you have that. Um, the rest of the day is yours. What we're going to do now, um, since it's 3.30 and we're missing someone, I'm going to just call it here. If there's anything, where do you guys want to pick up next session? Do you want to, like, prepare at all? Or do you want to just pick up at the place that you want to go to? Or is there another plan? Uh, Either or works for me. Either or works. Good question. Only kind of prep I would like to do would be to uh, is kind of just go over the records for a longer period, kind of just try and get a good idea of what's going on here. Okay. Try, 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 try and get any knowledge that could be useful to our regarding our situation with the with the lady and her followers. Um, if you if you take some time to prepare, it's. There's only so much that knowledge of the past can give you about the present. You know what things used to be like, but nowadays you have no fucking clue, dude. Like, there's no way you can figure out what's going on at this place. The only way you can do that is if you go and, and do it yourself. Okay, well, one last question. One last question in regards to looking at the past for this. Is there any noteworthy, notable elven places that have an observatory? Like, that, that's directly mentioned. Again, elves were very isolationist. There's not a lot of knowledge about them in the first place. All you know is that they were, um, they kind of like self governed themselves. They lived in s small settlements scattered throughout the world, not really a central government type of thing. Um, and that they had powerful magic. It was not specified what kind of magic, there was no examples given. It's just like, hey, be careful of the elves. They don't want to like fuck with you if they don't have to, but they can. All right, fair enough. general yeah. general knowledge about the elves. So, I'll see you on the train. Yeah, cool. I'm gonna we'll end off there. just saying I'm spending the rest of the day with my family. Smiley face. Cool. Now I'm right. gonna leave too. Goodbye. Uh, hey, have a good day. Yeah. Are you done recording? Uh, not yet. If there's anything anyone else wants to do, I mean, you're going to come in next session because I couldn't figure out a way to squeeze you in. They didn't want to. They didn't want to investigate the scream, so I couldn't do that as a thing. So, I'm sorry. so I, I wanted to investigate the scream, but at the same time, like I'm not going to try and bust open a lock and cause problems. I tried. It, you know, I was going to introduce them as a thing, but it's fine. We can do it this way too. Yeah. Uh, I, oh, I just, I, since I didn't get uh, introduced this week, is it okay if I take some more time to figure out what subclass I'm going instead of just like paying? Yeah, I mean, yeah. The, the only the only way I'm going to say no to that is if you already are in the game. If you haven't shown oh. up yet, things are still in fluid. Okay, awesome. And then it gives I, you yeah. time also for um, a backstory as well if you want to grab that magic item. Okay. Also, cool. I added the languages I should know now, so that way that's fixed. Okay. Which ones did you pick then? Elvish and Celestial. Okay. Sounds good. All right, cool. Well, I will see you all next week. Uh, you're gonna have you're gonna have um, the other guy with you finally join the party after after three Hooray. weeks. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't get you in, but I just didn't find a place where it would fit until the end of the game, and it's I, like it's, it's almost four o'clock, and we're missing a guy. So I want him to be around for the rest of this. I mean, it's kind of nice because it does give me a chance to actually play, like figure out what I actually want to play. Yeah, this is a subclass. It was good. I liked so, it. Alrighty, cool. Well, you guys can explore your options next week. I'll see you later. Bye. Uh, so, bye.